20, I just got hand they met. Step on the court, shoot late step. If a nigga just recent, you know you get wet. Boom, it's daddy, resting in pace, and fuck with these niggas, that's like a percent. High niggas scream, don't run, don't shoot with niggas, that's that risk, hold that head. K67 got hit in his head, Stone got drips, put him at the back. Don't forget, time now, hit his leg, I'm spinning through the floor, then I'm leaving it right. Now the woos, boom, a job, sad, nigga. Nigga, I clap before his birthday, and boom, I got left, I swear the worst way. Like, nigga, seen y'all was doomsday. And it's not like I was her, and shit was low, ain't through straight. Then shit got fucked, he's drilled on the strip. She can't walk, cause he don't got a bitch. Some niggas saw us go, get a grip. Niggas so mad, shit, dump the whole clip. Bitch, I don't run, I'm letting it rip. Like, silly, be can't, they know I'm miss. They be dripping at this. How you coming, I'm coming like this? All these bitches, you call it quits. Man, I'm foul, you know I'm gonna blitz. Fuck me, she keep giving a Take it back, catch a nigga off and do the tag Go like it, the nigga got stretched Spin the egg looking for a wreck Too many ops got hand they neck Step on the court, shoot late step If a nigga just recent, you know you get wet Again, you already know what time it is. The world's greatest goddamn streamer. Ladies and gentlemen, it ain't even close. We are back with another goddamn classic. Get your popcorn ready because you already know what time it is. It ain't even close, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you straight off the rip. All right. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's get straight into it. Now, um, <clears throat> if y'all don't know what's been going on with Queen Cobra it's been utterly disgusting and nasty, but I already seen this coming down the line. Being somebody that used to cover uh, Naked and Laughing in the past, well, didn't really cover her, but I was a watcher. And I told you guys about this in the past that I watched Naked and Laughing, but I didn't really want to stream or raw dog watch her on my stream because she was boring as fuck. Well, anyway, um, and I said... Naked and Laughing is the type of person that don't got nothing to fucking lose. I seen her get utterly nasty and disgusting with people. So I always said, just be a viewer. Don't raw dog. Kind of sit back a little bit and don't get involved because she will get very disgusting with you if she finds out you're watching or you're making fun of her in any kind of way. Now, I'm not going to go about the reported what happened with the 15-year-old 
and her putting it on Craigslist. I'm not going to go into that because I don't know if it's true or if it's fake. But what I do know what's real is yesterday, Queen Cobra. Yes. And I want to I want to uh, put this up here. Um, Queen Cobra got utterly disgusting and I saw it coming and I told y'all this was coming. She posted up. She she made a note of Jessica Messica's kids and talked about how Jessica Messica got her kids taken away from her. And she posted up her kids' names and she said she's not a mother or some just crazy shit, right? But I told you that Naked and Laughing don't got nothing to lose. She's very disgusting and she's very nasty. She's already said that she wanted to get a machete and take it to Jessica Messica. Okay, she already threatened her on stream. And now she's using her kids and she's attacking her for not being a mother and having her kids taken away. Now, a lot of people will sit around and say, you know, uh, it don't really affect me. I don't care. You know, she's who she is. But to be honest with you, to hear her say that yesterday and Jessica Mesco raw dogging it and watching it and hearing somebody talk like that about you, they, they gon they gonna say it don't hurt, but honestly, that hurts. And I and and like I said, naked and laughing is the type of person that don't got nothing to lose, and she does this kind of shit, right? And that's why I try to stay as far as possible away from it, as far as reacting to it, unless she's with King Cobra, then it's funny. But when she's just doing five hours or six hours in the tub doing absolutely nothing. I can't really, I don't want to get involved. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's a train wreck, right? And you don't want to be in the middle of the crash. All right. And, and, and it was just utterly nasty. And that's what she did. Good for him. I hope See? Josh has the best. She kept that poster up. Now it's cut off right there, but she kept the poster of her family up. And then she really went, she really went um, nuts yesterday after doing all of that. She went nuts yesterday. She sat and cried about Joshua not responding to her phone calls because, again, if you guys have been living under a rock, and I'm not going to report on this because I don't know if it's true or not. A lot of people have been going as is true that supposedly she put up a, she was, she put up a 15-year-old girl on Craigslist and a mother got really concerned about it and wanted to press charges on her. I don't know what's true or not, okay? I do know that she worked at Home Depot, all right? And she was cashier of the month at Home Depot. I mean, <laughs> keep her away from the hammers. But, um, wow. Uh, but she got that. And a lot of people at work signed her Home Depot, um, you know, um, um, uh, outfit and everything like that. And then there was a comment made about her selling her using somebody's 15 year old child. Now, I don't know what's true or not, because a lot of people, people say, well, this was before she was famous on the internet, but you know, somebody could be doing dick shit, right? Somebody don't like you and they find out where you work. They know where you work at and they leave a stupid ass comment. I'm not going to go on baseless claims. All right. I'm not going to do that. All right. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's I fake, but I don't want to put accusations on somebody if it's not true. All right. So I'm not going to I'm not going to put that on her. I'm only going to talk about her actions and what we can see and what she has done. Right. What she has done on the Internet that we can actually visualize and we can see. And what she said about Jessica Mesca's family and her children yesterday was utterly disgusting. And now this is her crying about Joshi and the situation she's currently in with all this speculation about the 15 year old. Roll it. Now, this person is just becoming uh, just a crazy ass roller coaster ride. <laughs> it just, it really is. 
And like I said, for me, for me as a reaction channel, it's not really in my best interest to raw dog or watch Queen Cobra like that. Okay, when she's with King Cobra and there's drama going on, I'll definitely report it. But when she's just sitting at home, she's writing notes and she's talking about people's kids and she's doxing people. I'm not watching it. All right. I think it's disgusting. I think it's nasty. Just not what I'm trying to. This is not what I'm about. All right. And I don't care how much money you can make off of it and how much people love it. All right. It's just not my thing now. <clears throat> but I, I find the hypocrisy about some people outlandish all right and i'm talking to another goddamn creator and i'm talking about that man hannibal all right now this is what i find funny i must show y'all some hypocrisy this man got on his panel and he wanted to trash jessica messica for watching queen cobra now what i don't understand is what is up with the hate who cares that Jessica Messica is making something out of watching Queen Cobra, right? She got the lore. She gives you the backstory. She gives you the front story. She watches her because she watched her before she blew up. So she got the right to want to watch Queen Cobra and do the numbers. But the jealousy is out of control. And I'm going to show you some hypocrisy. Here is this man trashing Jessica Messica for watching Queen Cobra. Roll it. Guys, that you know, I think Jessica Miska may have said something like, "Why don't you go and get you a man like Cobra or something like yeah, that?" Yeah, she would got make that thing couple, and she did. She looked on Kiwi Farms, she found Josh, started contacting him, and made herself a couple. Uh -huh. Now, giving Jessica Miska credit, even though she's covering naked and laughing like Breezy does Foodie, like Breezy does Foodie. Mm -mm. Like Breezy, do Breezy is not a content creator. Breezy does not put up bingo cards. Breezy is not creative. Jessica Messi has cooked on her channel while watching. She has done bingo cards. She has played multiple music videos and songs and things to keep people entertained while naked and laughing is boring as fuck. Just Breezy does none of that. Bre Just Breezy turns on her fucking camera, watches Foodie Beauty scarf down nine Big Macs, while doing Sesame Street commentary. It's a big difference. She's sit, just sitting there. just She's eating a sandwich. A uh, pork and bean. When, whenever Naked and Laughing, if you've watched Jessica Mesca, and I'm not an uh, advocate of Jessica Mesca or whatever, but what I'm saying is when you watch her, she keeps it entertaining. She has music playing in the background as kind of some creepy ass shit. She also throws some bingo cards out there. She might cook something or she might eat a chili pepper. You, you never know what you're going to get. But to compare her to Just Breezing, that already tells me you're an absolute moron. But keep going, though. We're going we gonna to see what it's all about. Roll it. She does not have any love for this woman whatsoever, and she is dragging her through the mud every single time she puts on a, a live. But so? I personally just find it creepy that you have enough time to go live every single time this person goes live at four or five, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the afternoon, just whatever kind of. You find it creepy that Je Jessica Mesca is covering naked and laughing afternoon and nighttime. OK, random times they go live and you're right there. You're right there. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I've, I've noticed people talk about that and I. He finds it kind of creepy that she's covering Queen Cobra. He finds it creepy that he's getting the lore, that she's getting the lore. She knows the backstory, the front story, and she's covering Queen Cobra. He finds it creepy. I find that fucking hilarious and hypocritical that you find it creepy that she's doing that. But the very fucking next day, wait a minute, is this not you the next day, my dude? Is this not you? Roll it. House to sit on just to make sure. I came across What'd a post across? about the one and only huh? the Gothic Queen uh -huh. Cobra or Queen Cobra J A B as she would like to refer herself as. Uh -huh. This nasty mm, lump of an individual uh -huh. that was live. <laughs> I don't believe she's still live because now we just have the rotation. What, what, what's this? 
You we have the rotation. Across- so it seems like she's quit her live. She's no longer live, but that's fine. Uh-huh. Because I didn't give a damn about her anyway. Uh-huh. I personally wish that she's a interesting type of predator, if you ask me. We did it very masking or reactions. Um, but this was found, and I'm just going to bring it to you. I'm going to show it to you, and I'm going to leave it here. My nigga, did you just call Jessica Mesca's coverage of Queen Cobra creepy, but then you turned around and you used her fucking content to make a fucking point? <laughs> you just said her shit was creepy, my nigga. But then you turned around and you used her co- you used her content, her community tab? <laughs> You don't, you can't, oh, 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 you know, I find it odd that uh, Jessica Messica covers Queen Cobra. Oh, I need some info about Queen Cobra. Let me go to Jessica Me. Talk to me! <laughs> but, again, ladies and gentlemen, this man has never come up with content himself. He is always stealing from others. He's dog shit. I've been said it. He's zero content. He's a snooze fest. He has not reached one video this year that had 3K. Not one. Jessica Mesica's hitting up with the numbers. Jealousy pops in. Why he? Why is she covering Queen Cobra? Because you can't do it, nigga. And then when you ain't got your... And then when you need some com, content and you need some information, you go to the very person you trash? <laughs> I find that hilarious. <laughs> How you do that? <laughs> Where they do that at, my guy? I find it creepy that she uh, covers Queen Cobra, but I need some information. Let me go over there to Jessica Messica. <laughs> That's some hating ass shit, bro. But you a hater, though. So we all know that. You know, a fucking moron on the internet. <laughs> Trash, dog shit. <laughs> You can't, you can't trash somebody and then turn around and use their content. That's crazy. It's dumb. That's like me shitting on ju- uh, Just Breezing today and then going over there going, you know what? Just Breezing had an interesting com- com- uh, community post. <laughs> I like to cover it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> These people, man. These people are out of control. <laughs> the jealousy is real. It's because he has the same garbage audience. He has not, he's not elevated at all. <laughs> yeah, he has not elevated. <laughs> oh, man. So he hates on somebody else. <laughs> it's crazy. But that's not it, though. Mm. Then, <laughs> then the man talks about racist, uh, uh, naked and laughing being racist. He gets all naked and laughing for being racist. He called her, he says she's racist for this. Roll it. I found on Naked and Laughing will be uh-huh. brought to us by Carrie. That's right. Carrie. Of course. It's always brought to you by somebody. It's never brought to you by this nigga. <laughs> Y'all notice this? Every video he plays is never brought to you by him. It's always brought to you by somebody else. <laughs> I like to just uh, say I'm playing a video right now from somebody else. I saw somebody give him credit for a music video. It wasn't even his music video. He he got a parody from somebody else and put Foodie Beauty clips behind it. That ain't his. <laughs> this man ain't got no creativity. He ain't creative. There's no creative. There's no creative nothing out of this man. <laughs> He's not creative. He's trash. It's garbage. Dog shit. <laughs> this is brought to you by I didn't do it. <laughs> Has this nigga ever did anything himself? No. <laughs> this is brought to you by uh, Pepsi. <laughs> Go ahead. The board housewife. She posted this information. What? Now, what this has a lot more validity as far as being able to be what? validated, uh-huh. verified, and right. vetted. Right. Because this says that, well, Jessica, or our Queen Cobra, Uh-huh. She didn't just say the N word. Right. No, she doesn't just say that all the time. Uh-huh. She also drinks out of a shot glass with a racist cartoon on it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's what Wikipedia says. So Wikipedia. if you see the shot glass down here, mm-hmm. you can tell that there is a little Sambo 
Yeah, right. it's a little Sambo cartoon character. Disgusting. And a lot of people may or may not know this because of the era that they grew up in. But this could Disgusting. be taken as very offensive to a lot of people of color because of the representation of who Sambo is. Mm -hmm. Now, it says Sambo is a derogatory label for a person of African descent in the Spanish language. Right. Historically, it was a name in the English American uh, American English derivative from the mm -hmm. Spanish term for a person of African and Native American ancestry. Right. After the Civil War, during and after the Jim Crow era, right. you which for thing. those of you all who are familiar with it. Jim Crow era, this was secret slave laws, basically secret laws of segregation to where uh, black people had to go to the back of the building to, to get served. Black people had Boy, to drink out of <laughs> dirty, rusty ass water fountains. Gregory said, go off, King. <laughs> I got to speed this boring shit up. <laughs> go off, King. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Worst and was served scraps in comparison to the other people of non-color. So this Sambo character around the Jim Crow era was a term used in conversations, prints, and advertisements, and even household items to right. basically depict black people in kind of uh, a bad way, a derogatory way. Yeah, we get that. This term can be considered offensive to some in American and the British English. Now, you see her little glass. You see the little man. You see the little African figure. What else does it say here? Because it says anybody... I don't think that anybody understands or is paying attention to how much of a nasty... Gregory Schmeggery donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Go off King Crown Love, you gesture light skin tone. Yes! I'm about, to, I'm about to eat right now. Let me eat my food. I'm about to eat. The vile, ugly person that you are on the inside and how you've tainted our boy Cobra with your ugly and vile behaviors. Our boy Cobra. Now... Remember, he just said this. He did this whole Wikipedia about how racist it is to have a shot glass cup of this African descent, right? And it's very disgusting. Okay. Now, why the fuck hasn't he spoken or said anything about his nigga that he constantly brings on panel with him when his boy called me multiple times? And we don't have to Wikipedia this. Matter of fact, it's still on his channel. If you guys want to go check it out, if you guys want some, um, if you guys want the real, uh, you, it's still on his channel. It's this guy named Infernal, the guy that he constantly brings on panel, the con the guy that he tap dance for. We don't need to do no research on this, do we? This man called me a coon multiple times on his channel, and he put in a thumbnail, yo mama, jackass, Yo, coon mama. That's what he calls me. Coon mama. But you talked about how n this whole thing about how hurt you was about what? Qu uh, Queen Cobra drinking out of a shot glass of racial, r racial indications and all this other stuff. But your man calls me a coon. And where's the outrage, my dude? Matter of fact, you bring that basement nigga up on your fucking channel, don't you? On panel, don't you? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, tap dance for the Ku Klux Klan member. That man is Negs 2.0. And you got that man on panel. And then you got the nerve to talk about, hey, man, this is racial. And Shut up. <laughs> it's only racial. It's only racial when it's somebody you don't like. But if it's somebody you like, you never call it out. The difference between me and you, dog, is when Foodie Beauty, when she says some racial shit about uh, um, Charlie Gold, call her Charlie Cole, I called her out for that. When she went after FFG and called FFG the goblin, I called her out for that. I got raged at by Foodie Beauty multiple times, and you called me the Fupa sucker. But yet when she, her behavior and she says some racist shit, I don't care what she is or who she is to me. I call that shit out. But when that white man that you hang out with on panel, when he's picking his fucking feet and you bring him up and he called me coon multiple times, you sat back and you said nothing, nigga. And he's talking about, I'm 49, I never say the N-word. Because you ain't a real nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Shut your coon ass up. <laughs> nigga, call him a coon. You call me a coon all day long, call that nigga Hannibal a coon. <laughs> he won't even care. <laughs> God damn it. Hannibal somewhere tap dancing. <laughs> Anything, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs>
the fuck out of here. You can't say nothing about racial nothing. You got a white man calling me a coon and you ain't say nothing about it? Okay then. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> Ku Klux Klan, man. He got a Ku Klux Klan member coming up on panel every week. And he talking about racial shit. Do, you, do we got to look that up, nigga? <laughs> do we got to look up what a white man calling a black man a coon mean? Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> he doing this. He, he tap dancing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come up on my panel, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't one time I seen you come up on panel and ask him why you keep calling your mama a coon. Not one time. Exactly. So don't talk to me, man. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Trash. <laughs> Garbage. Why do I keep on burning this nigga, man? I feel bad roasting this nigga every week. <laughs> Had that nigga shut the fuck up after I fucking clowned him one time. He ain't said my name since. <laughs> Keep it that way, dog. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> tap dancing. I'm going to call you tap dance. I'm going to call you ha tap dance Hannibal. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> How's it doing, sir? <laughs> That's a, every time that nigga come on panel with you. Weirdo. Anyway, just find it hypocritical. Somebody to be talking about other people being racist when you got a racist man on your panel. Don't make no sense. See, I call that shit out. Somebody being racist. If somebody, if, if anybody in here that was white, that even if I liked called Hannibal a coon, bro, I would be on their fucking head because I know what that means. And I know what, what, how white people use that against black people. I'd be on their head. And even if I don't like you, I still, I still represent for you at the end of the day. But that's not what you do. Or at the end of the day, you only represent yourself. And if anybody likes you and they're cool with you, they can say whatever the fuck they want to say. That's how you run your channel. But that's cool. That's not how I do it over here. Don't care. Yeah, people, people like me one day and hate me the next just comes with the territory. I'm not over here trying to tap dance to make everybody happy. That's not what I do. And, it, and if somebody steps out of line, I'm going to call them out for it. That's not what you do. It's a difference over here. So shut up. Sit your ass. Go steal somebody else's material because that's all you know how to do. You ain't creative at all. And I'll put up any, I'll put up my, nigga, I'll put up any amount of money if this nigga can provide me a fucking video that he got that's better than anything I've created. I put up my own. God damn it. He's dog shit. <laughs> God. <laughs> anyway, got me sweating. <laughs> love roasting these niggas. I, I, I love the part when uh, these people always say, damn, your mama, you only go at women. <laughs> I go at men harder. <laughs> when I start talking about stupid niggas, I start to sweat. <laughs> if you're not sweating, you're not streaming. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> oh, man. Hannah Bella. That's what we call him. <laughs> Hannah Bella. Bust down, Hannah Bella. I do what I want to him. That's why he shut up. He never said my name again. Because I dragged him so bad, he shut up. But anytime I feel like dragging him, I just drag him. Because I can do that to him. That's my Hannah Bella. <laughs> bust it down, Hannah Bella. <laughs> I want to see you bust down. <laughs> I want to see that nigga bust down for the culture. <laughs> I do what I want to him. I do what I want to him. When I dragged him, he shut up. He ain't said my name. But anytime I want to say that nigga name, I say it. I, I say it because that's my Hannah Bella. <laughs> he know what he is to me. <laughs> bust down, boy. <laughs> it's that shit open. See, I'm, it's a difference between me and him. See, he go around. Trying to suck up to all these women. I told you, I, your mama. I told you about your mama. I told you. <laughs> like a little, like a little slave he is. He goes around. I saw, I saw, he's sneaking. He's sneaking people chatting shit. I saw. Oh, uh, uh, your mama's a. Uh, he's a bad man, ain't he? <laughs> yes, he is. But I ain't gonna say it on my channel because I'm scared of him. <laughs> I saw he's good. Ain't he? <laughs> Guy, go go tap dance for somebody else. I call you out on my stream. I ain't gotta. I ain't gotta go to women. Or other people's chat to call you out. I drag you here. <laughs> I don't need a. I don't need to go. I don't need no woman to be like you. You think he's a bad man? He's a bad man, is he? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
anyway, speaking of dragon, let's get to the next one. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's going to be some dragon today. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't ready, yo mama. What day is it? Wednesday? <laughs> it's Drag Niggas Wednesday. Here is uh, Just Breezing. She had a lot to say. Oh, my Lord. She had a lot to say. Here she is dragging your mama. Roll it. Because he used to mop the floors with people like Jovan in prison. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She's talking about her baby daddy. Her baby daddy. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. A nigga, <laughs> he was a booty warrior. He was he used to mop the floors with people in prison. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go, y'all. Oh, my God. Here's the threats with her baby daddy and your mama. Here we go. Oh, Update, man. I thought that might be interesting. We can go to Twitter. Ah. But uh, unfortunately for yo mama, unfortunately, unfortunately for that tiny, small, little excuse for a man. Right. Hello, Toodles. Hello, Great Bunch. Hello, Brodello. Uh -oh. Unfortunately for him, I have entered my giving the same energy to those who deserve it era. Oh, you're giving you're you're you you are in that giving the same energy to people that deserve it era. No, 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 no. That's not the era you're in. <laughs> you're in. Foodie Beauty's not providing any content, so you don't have any content, and you're not making no money, Era, and you're trying to find something that you can make money off of. That's what Era you're on. <laughs> Let's not lie to the people. Ever since Foodie Beauty has dipped and taken a lot of time off, these creators are now trying to find something new and trying to find something else to make money on. She's not making the same amount of money and she's not getting the same amount of views. That's what this is about. Before she would ignore all of this, because remember, she had Foodie Beauty to fall back on. She didn't care what people were dragging her on or whatever. She was doing numbers. Foodie Beauty was active. Now Foodie Beauty's not active and she ain't got shit. So now she got trying to find something that hot. We know what that is. This is a money move. We already know your money moves. Come on, y'all. I have entered my giving the same energy to Some those who deserve it era. Uh -huh. So mainly if you've talked about my child, um, I give no, I don't give any fucks anymore. I'm sorry. I've kept my mouth shut for too long. And where did that get me? Where did that get me? So yo Broke. mama, I guess, went on this little rampage about how what I did was illegal. Right. Sharing a public picture. Mm -hmm. on a public platform that was shared to any woman share yeah you put busy little b's husband's penis up on youtube when it was on twitter yeah go ahead bring her nudes on twitter right um any woman that shared her nudes busy little b's husband was in the replies after you sit on my face you can sit on this literally his hit like his pickup line uh -huh. to everything uh-huh so your mama i usually like ignore for the most part right I don't forget what he said, and um, okay. he should be very, very lucky as much shit as he's talked about my family. And even he's talked about my baby daddy, my child. He should be very lucky that man. Where? 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 <laughs> Go ahead. About my family. And even he's talked about my baby daddy, my child. He should be very lucky that man is a changed man. Because he used to mop the floors with people like Jovan in prison. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh! <laughs> really? <laughs> mop the floors, huh? He's a change. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, she's really trying to start this. <laughs> she's really trying to get this going, aren't you? You really trying to make this pop off, huh? You really trying to make this thing pop off with me and your baby dad? You really trying to make this thing pop off? It's really funny. It's really funny because when I when I walk past the guy or I see the guy, it ain't none of this conflict. It ain't even no talk about YouTube or nothing. It ain't nothing like that. And see, that's what I want to tell the chat off the rip. See, I'm not an IRL type of person. I'm not a type of person to put uh, uh, know somebody on YouTube and then know and then see their family members and grab a camera and put a camera to their face. I'm not that type of person. I said I'd never even reveal who this person is or what they do or who they know. 
I'll never do that. I'm I'm a drag you, but I'm not. I don't got nothing to do with anything of your family or anything of the sort. It ain't even. That's what the chat don't understand. It ain't even like that. It ain't no drama. It ain't nothing. When I go places and I see this guy, it ain't none of this. What she's talking right now, and I don't even mention who. I don't even mention how she talks on the internet. I don't even bring that to his attention, right? I don't do none of that. It ain't no conflict. It ain't no drama. But she's trying to make conflict and drama. She's trying to make something of this, like something is going to go down. Like, she, it's, it's one of them weird-ass baby mamas that, that, that try to call their baby, da their, their baby daddies to fight somebody for no fucking reason. Like there's some kind of conflict or some drama. It's nothing like that. And the way she's talking is crazy right now. The way she's talking right now is he would mop the floor. This is crazy. This is crazy. If that's the case, if that's the case, then let that happen then. If that's the case, would you, all this talking you doing, you know what I mean? And all this talking you doing, if that's the case, let it happen. This is, this, I, I don't even want to say what I want to say. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say it because... Again, remember the Amberlynn thing, you know, you know what happened the last time, you know what I'm saying? But go ahead, though. You're right. You're right. Mop the floor. Go ahead. You're Family. Right. And even he's talked about my baby daddy, my child. He Never. should be very lucky that man is a changed man because he yeah, used to right. mop the floors with people like Jovan in prison. <laughs> Anyways, and they just happen to see each other around. <laughs> this guy's in. And they just happen to see each other around. Happen to see each other around. And what happens, chat? What happens? I, like I just told y'all in this chat room, it's no drama. It's no conflict. It's nothing. Don't even speak on this. It's nothing. All this, all this baby mama trying to start stuff. Crap is crazy. She's trying to feed these lies. It's crazy. But anyway, but go ahead, man. Just, I'm just showing y'all. I'm just showing y'all what it is. It's crazy. In prison. Anyways, and they just happen to see each other around. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. An uh -huh. idiot. So right. let me just remind you of some of the things that your mama has done. He what shared done? garlic bread's print that wasn't printing because Jessica Muska <laughs> sent it to him. And uh -huh. he shared it and made fun of that man. He also has shared a woman. Just Breeze forgets to mention the part where she sent me a photo of Gordic Bread and his mom. She forgets to tell you this part. And she wanted me, she thought that I was going to post it on my stream while I interviewed her. And I wasn't doing that. <clears throat> I was not putting Gordic Bread's mother on the internet. The fact that you even sent me something like that is crazy. Okay. And that's why I want to warn everybody out here in this chat. Don't be friends with nobody. Don't send nobody nothing. Your family, your friends, your cousins, None of that stuff. They will use that against you. They will go into somebody else's DMs and they don't like you one day. They will use that against you. I'm just letting y'all know. Okay. I never, I, and I kept that to me because I would never do that to Gordon Bread. Even as much as I talk about Gordon Bread and Victoria's Secret and going to get his mom, Vic I would never post her picture on the internet. That's just wild. <clears throat> Again, before this interview would happen with Just Breezing, she wanted me to do all her dirty work. That's what she thought I was bringing her on an interview to do. Bring up all the dirt on Gordon Bread that she sent me. And I wasn't going to do that shit. I just wanted to get to the bottom of why she thought it was cool to go to the police station to talk about her kid nickname being out there. That's the only reason why I brought her on. She thought it was going to be this dragging Gordon Bread fest. I wasn't going to do that. And I was not going to put this man's mom on my stream. But go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just telling you how nasty this person is. This person is a very nasty person. But go ahead. And he did blur it. And he said, <clears throat> and I would quote it, but I'll probably get it. You know, I can't quote it. But I'll tell you what I remember. He shared that after a woman sent him nudes, that him and his wife had the craziest sex. Mm. Hecate's daughter donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents through Super Chat. Breezy Baby Daddy told her to get off the internet. <laughs> probably did. Or he don't know. Either one, he, he probably don't know, to be honest with you. 
You probably don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> you probably don't have a clue what's going on. That night, and it was weird. He kept saying that was kind of weird. <laughs> it was kind of weird. Um, he's done it many, many times. So, done anyways, I, this clip blessed my timeline. And like I said, I've been really loving showing receipts of Jovan lately. This clip comes from that pew pew person who like really wants there to be an issue with me, but there's no issue there. <laughs> oh. And um, it's oh. him sharing somebody's eggplant pic on oh. his platform. So, you guys, I really want you to pay attention oh, here. Oh, yes, pay attention. Put on your listening ears, you I know, like to put pay on attention. your glasses, and pay attention to everything that yeah. is on the screen for you to see. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to mute myself because I don't want to ruin the moment. Okay. okay. So, remember, he ranted and raged about me blurring a picture, which pew, was pew, more than I breathing. could say that busy like little bee's combo. husband did. Yeah, talk to me. I blurred the picture. I did the world a favor. Blurred I did. Um, but it's not revenge prawn if the person shared the pictures all over the damn internet looking for a taker. Right. At this point, you don't know if he sent them to me. You don't know that you anybody in this chat could have busy little bee's husband's D pics. Anybody. Anybody can have keep going. Anybody, they probably all do. They Everybody's all got seen them. -picks. Anyways, mm, let's okay. play this little clip and then we're gonna go over to the dank food play parody. It. Play it. Um, so anyways, expose this man. Here. Expose him. Understand what this guy thought he was going to get from this photo right here. And, right. and 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 let me tell you something. No pause. I'm going to go all the way in because this is the Drama News Network. Okay? And I'm going to go all the way in on this shit. Listen, little white boy. Yeah. Your dick is small as shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a small dick man right there. Yeah. And you know it is. Because yeah. I'm telling you. You when blurry. you can, when you can, when you can relax one whole hand, yeah, and then grab your penis with three fingers, <laughs> which he's doing right here. Because let me tell you something. Look at this. This is a three finger grab right here. That's a small penis. <laughs> he pees on his balls. I'm, uh, no, I, I'm going all the way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> this man is like all this. Yeah, yeah, look at it. like what? You don't like what you say? <laughs> he got the three finger grip. All right. Uh -huh. He got one hand yes. totally relaxed. If yes. you weren't aware, or if you're not watching, you're just listening. He has yeah. somebody's nudes up on the screen to the left that somebody, I don't know if they sent them to him, but he has somebody's nudes. Let's get to the fucking context. This is what I love. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Hecate's daughter donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents through Super Chat. He did. She invited him on panel to embarrass her. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let's get to it. I love the context. Now, here we go. Believe in Pew Pew, the broken hearted one. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's get to the context, though, because here we go again. Taking things out of context, cutting up clips. But don't worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. All of this stuff is still on my channel. It's still on my channel. And you can see the full clip. Let's get to the full clip. Let me, let me throw that up here. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me grab it. Let me grab the let me grab the full clip. Cause I don't I don't like when people just take clips and take things out of context. I don't like that. You know? I like it when I like it when people get the full context of what's going on. Here we go. Let's play the video God all damn. the way down. Let me, let me, let me, uh oh, uh oh. When y'all understand what's happening, y'all gonna love me. Y'all gonna love me even more. I know y'all love me already, but y'all gonna love me a lot. Here we go. Here's the full video, still on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, from a year ago. Here we go. Here we go. Woof Woof donated $5 through Super Chat. YM, you irk me sometimes, but you're all right. Yeah. Breezy ain't about shish tea. About real that. recognizes real, and she's the fakest mufka on his platform. Not even close. Thank you very much. Woof woof. Thank you. But woof woof, I gotta show you the full context. Y'all gonna love me after this. Y'all gonna love me. Watch this. Roll it. Let me tell y'all something. Let me ask y'all something in the Madden community. Madden what community. the hell is wrong with you men in mm. the Madden community? Mm. Huh? Because let me tell you something. Uh-huh. As soon as a female, right? comes into the Madden community. Uh-huh. As soon as one. And, yeah. I, and, and and let me pull her uh let me pull her photo up right, right quick for you thirst buckets. 
as soon as a female right. comes, here she goes right here, to chicken. I don't know what, I don't know where she got the name. As soon as a female Madden player comes into the Madden community. Talk to me. You motherfuckers do not know how to control yourselves. What? You guys don't know what to do. Because oh. they can go around in any other community. Right. They can go around in any other stream right, and talk. any other gaming site and, and play any other game and right. they'll be fine. But as soon as they come into the Madden stream, the Madden community, all of a sudden the thirst comes out. What? And now listen. What's that? This girl Two Chicken comes into the Madden community and yeah. immediately... Right. And immediately as she jumps in, plays a game, gets on stream, gets on Twitch, does her thing. The dick pics start fly flying in. <laughs> That's right. All of a sudden, the dick pics start flying in the DMs. Now, listen to me. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This female decided she wanted to play a video game. And she wanted to be part of a community. Madden community. And then all of a sudden, these guys would befriend her and follow her and say that they were going to practice on playing a game with her. And then in the mid-sentence, they would start sending their cocks to her. That's right. And, and hold on. Let me really give you all some context. The Madden community, the guys, the men in my community, when she came out about what was going on, she made a video on YouTube about what was happening to her, the men in my community was like, well, you know, you wanted to play with the boys. You wanted to hang out with the guys. You wanted to be part of us. Why are you so mad that guys are sending you dick pics? That was the popular opinion. But see, your mama's not about the popular opinion. See, what I did was I turned around and I said, no, nah, that's wrong. I said, niggas, y'all shouldn't be sending women dick pics if they're unwarranted when they're not asking for them. I said, you niggas got fucking issues. I stood up for this woman. Matter of fact, after I did, she thanked me for it. For coming out on her behalf when all the other fucking guys out there thought it was cute and funny. And I sat there and I said, y'all niggas is wrong for that shit. You guys are disgusting. Sending this woman dick pics all because she wants to play a video game? Again, context. But let's get to it, though. I didn't believe this was true. All right. When Country Girl told me that this was going on in the Madden community, mm -hmm. as soon as she went single, all of a sudden, every Madden guy jumped in her DMs and tried to get with her and try to hook up with her and try to be with her. I didn't, I didn't believe it. And then when this girl says all of a sudden she's getting multiple dick pics, I had to reply to her. I said, ha -ha, prove it, prove it, show us what you've been getting. And, and guess what? I got to give her props because then she decided she wanted to show us. And here we go right here. She tweeted this out right here. Let me blow this. Let me blow this up right here for you guys. Uh, she tweeted this out. She was like this. She was like, um, uh, she said, she threw this up here, right there. I've started, I, I've started sending the D pics I've gotten in from dudes since my post back to each other. And they're not happy. Now she posted this up. Here is the guy sending her the cock right here. Just breezing. Why did you blank that out? I didn't show the guy's face and I damn sure didn't show the guy's cock. Huh? And again, I never even identified the guy. So how's it revenge porn? I never identified the guy. I never said his name. I never said who it was. I never even showed who his face was. This woman was receiving unwarranted pics by multiple men just because she wanted to play in the Madden community around a bunch of guys. And I sat there and I said, no way. Niggas ain't doing this shit. And it ain't cool. And I roast the fuck out of this guy. And I didn't and I didn't say his name. I didn't even know who it was. She didn't even identify him. And would I do it again? Of course. Because at the end of the day, a month later, after all this, after all these dick pics she was receiving, after I made this video, guess what? She hit me back and she told me it stopped. Me embarrassing these fucks 
for sending dick pics to a woman who never asked for it? But again, imagine if I was in Girl World and you, saw, and you found out that I was participating with the rest of these men and encouraging men to send dick pics to a female and saying things like, well, she, she wanted to be part of the community. She wanted to hang out with the guys. So what if they send her dick pics? Imagine if you found those clips going around. How would you feel about me? Exactly. But, I, but the person that I am today and how I speak out and I see something wrong happening, even if it's a popular opinion, I come out and I come out with my own opinion. I say it's wrong. It was wrong for these motherfuckers to send dick pics to a female who wasn't asking for them. All she wanted to do was play a video game. And I couldn't believe my community was going around doing this shit to a female. But again, again, we're talking about context. That's the context. This ain't no revenge porn. It can't be revenge porn because I don't I didn't even know the guy that she she was sending me pictures of. I didn't never identify them. I never said so and so. This is his dick pic. I never did that. I was just trying to post up and show men, yo, this shit ain't cool. And if you do this to her, I'm going to roast your ass. And guess what? Nobody did it to her again. So if. If you want to hate me for that and you want to say, fuck your mama, for I guess what? I do that shit again. They, it, no woman deserves to have unwarranted dick pics flying in their DMs when all they want to do is play a video game. But, hey, man. But Just Breezing didn't show Busy Lil B's husband for the greater good of the community. She didn't do that because she was trying to do something positive. She did that for revenge. She don't like busy little B. So guess what? I don't like you. I'm going to go after your husband. Your husband got dick pics out. I'm going to post that shit up. I'm going to show the world. That's different than what I did. Don't even compare yourself to me, moron. <laughs> mm. Don't compare yourself to me. And you taking advice? You taking advice? And taking clips. Let's see who you're taking clips from. Chat. Can we see who she's taking clips from? Right? Pew Pew. Right? You remember her? Shout out to Hakate's daughter um, stream. Her smash uh, video. But you remember her? That's right. Damn. Wait. Hold on. Seven Deadly. Who was that for? Mm, is that for Michael? I'm a little behind. Right. Yeah, he, yeah, your mama's cute. He's cute. He's cute. Like I said, he's giving me brother vibes. Like I said, listen, let me tell y'all. Y'all yeah. want to know what I'm into? Uh, tall. That, that's a lie. Short. Dark. You have to be super dark. Normally, the men that I... Okay, I said it. If y'all want to marry me, you got to be... She says, yo, mama, please show it to me. <laughs> you talking about Pew Pew? The woman who wanted to see it? The one who wanted to give money to see it? Smash, 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 smash. Pew, pew. The one that wants to talk about all the other women. How could you like your mama? But three weeks ago, she wanted to see the D? It's crazy, right? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a woman scoring to me. I kicked her ass up out of this fucking chat. I kicked her up out of here. She wanted me to stand up and all this weird shit. She got the boot. Guess what she turned into? A crazy ex. A crazy ex, I ain't never touched or winked at. But all she wanted to do was see the D. <laughs> she was lusting over this. Crazy. I ain't never even winked at you. Weird. It's okay to be like, the guy's cute. The guy's good looking. He's a cute guy. He's a handsome man. That's all good. The moment you start wanting to see the nigga's dick, though, crazy. G crazy. donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Oh. Trasha about to say context doesn't matter while also saying, I didn't say that, 
Yo Mama needs an EPO more than anyone in Goral World. Tears of joy, tears of joy. Thank you very much, G. It's crazy. Just three weeks ago, she was trying to see the D. And now she acting like an obsessed, crazy ex. <laughs> Hating everybody. <laughs> you like your mama? How dare you? <laughs> you just wanted to see his, three, his dick three weeks ago. It doesn't matter. <laughs> crazy. And you taking clips from that person? Yeah. See, I ignore that because I dealt with crazy exes before. The best way to deal with them is not even talk to them. Hopefully, give me, give me pound right here, GP13. Maybe she can go and hang out with you. And maybe she can get obsessed with you and get off of this train. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> don't give a shit about, I don't give a shit about somebody's opinion like that when she was lusting over a dude. That she ain't never met. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> Fuck. Woof woof has become a member. God. I'm just saying. Y'all gotta read. Y'all gotta read between the lines. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Woof woof became a member. Hey, yo. Oh, hitting me like, yo, mama, what did you do to her? What happened? Well, what, 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 what do you mean? What happened? We're talking about, we're talking about a person who don't got all their marbles, obviously, a person that was lusting over somebody that they never met on the internet and wanted to see the D every five seconds. Smash, 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 smash. Even daughter had to be like, yo, chill the fuck out. <laughs> it ain't that serious. Talk to me nicely, though. But like I said, with any crazy fucking ex, what you have, what you do is let them let them talk to themselves in a corner. Let them go talk to themselves in a corner. And hopefully they'll hopefully they'll tag on or or get connected, you know, with somebody else. And then they'll and then that and then she could be their problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping GP13, GP13, hit me right here. Please. <laughs> Please show yourself or something. <laughs> have her get obsessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I give a shit about somebody like that. You taking clips from her? That's crazy. She just wanted to see the D three weeks ago. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Talking about stand up and then got the boot. Yeah, and then and then apologized and wanted to come back. <laughs> I said, no, nah, you gotta stay gone. <laughs> Peace, deuces, right here, right here, deuces. That way, <laughs> that way. Weirdo. <laughs> Fuck. Have you and now now if I'm this am I if I'm this perverted person that they claim that I, I'm I'm supposed to be, and I had this woman lusting over me, wouldn't I have gotten in the DMs and been like, yo, uh you wanna see the real thing or you what's going on? When you see me in the DMs trying to talk to one of these women, you've never seen it. Because everything I do, and you can clown it. You can make fun about, about everything that I do and everything that I say. But everything that I do and everything that I say and I talk my shit, I do that shit in the open. I do that shit in the open. Because I don't converse or flirt with women in DMs. I don't talk to them. I don't try to hook up with them. I don't try to get with them. And Daughter even said you can go and watch Daughter's stream. This is called Smash or Pass. Go watch her stream. She even says it in this stream when... Pew Pew was lusting over me. She even said it in the stream. Thank God we got somebody like your mama. Because your mama could easily be a Monty. Your mama could easily be one of these creeps in girl world like garlic bread that got a few women that thinks he's cute and then start sliding in DMs trying to hook up with him. He could easily do that. She says it in this stream. Go watch it. She said, I appreciate a man like this being around because he's not out here trying to fucking hook up with every single woman that thinks he's cute. That's a fucking fact. Mm. Nalia Greenheart donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Does this woman know you're married? L-M-A-O. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she know. Oh, yeah, she know. She know. And even uh, uh, Takate even told her in the stream, like, yo, he's married. And his girl and his wife is a surfer. <laughs> pew pew. Oh, I'll turn into a surfer for him. Uh, uh, do I got a surf or what? <laughs> she went and got, she went and bought a surfboard. <laughs> she went and got herself a surfboard, y'all. <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> 
<laughs> she thought she was Beyonce. Surfboard, surfboard. <laughs> she thought she was Beyonce. <laughs> Talk, am I lying? Ask daughter. She's in here. Am I lying? Tecate, am I lying? Anything I'm saying right now, am I lying? Am I speaking facts on, do I got to play the video? Go watch it yourself if you want to see it. If you want to see the lust, go ahead and watch it yourself. It's embarrassing. <laughs> no lies told. Thank you. Thank you. She even said it. She said, dude, you don't, this woman is, his, he's married and his wife is a surfer. I'm going to go grab a surfboard. <laughs> I'm going to be a surfer then. I'm going to do it. <laughs> she said it with her full chest. I said, Ew. man, I don't, I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even, who are you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I ain't lying. That's facts. But like I said, y'all taking, taking words of a woman scorn. Y'all taking, taking words or clips from somebody that's hurt. You know what I mean? Somebody I booted out and she's hurt over there screaming at it, screaming, screaming to herself. And y'all taking that? She's going, she's attacking women. She's attacking women that I that I that I I, I say their name or I mention in my stream. I, I say what's up to pets. I say what's up to no name. I say what's up to a couple of people in my chat. And she wants to attack them. Like, how dare pets want to uh, hang out with your mama? Why does she, he, she like your mama so much? It's like that ex-girlfriend. You go to the mall. You go to a mall with another female friend. And you at the Foot Locker. And then your ex show up. And she's yelling at the other girl. Like, why are you hanging out with him? He's a piece of shit. He's a... And then you, you got to stop her and be like, uh, uh excuse me. Didn't you want to see his dick three weeks ago? <laughs> Like, weird. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> God, I broke up with you. I kicked you out. I broke up with you. When you break up with somebody, you go separate ways. That's how it work, right? <laughs> Not this one, though. <laughs> God. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> she, uh, why are you hanging out with him? What are you talking about? <laughs> Weirdo. Anyway. Mm. Ah, but... Like I said, <clears throat> this whole DM shit and people talking about GP13, he wanted to talk about on his stream yesterday. He had to delete the shit because he was lying so hard. <laughs> he said, uh, yo mama be talking to women in the DMs. Didn't have no evidence of it. He said that yo mama was chit-chatting and conversating with girls behind the scenes. Didn't have no evidence of it. Said that I was talking to Tiny Dancer and, and Vegas Behind the scenes in Discord, I was flirting with them. Didn't have no evidence of it. Talking out of his ass. But then I found out why GP is so concerned and talks about me being in the DMs with other women. I found out that this man and the video he deleted, still around. This man not only was getting in the DMs with women, but he was getting their personal phone numbers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to listen to GP. <laughs> I never, this man said he's from the hood. I've never seen a hood man gossip so fucking much. I'm going to tell you how bad this man gossips. And you're about to listen to it yourself. Can you imagine being a man, right, on the internet and having some kind of conflict with somebody and you decide you want to call Belinda to talk about the drama, right? But guess what Belinda was doing when this nigga called her phone? He said, hey, Belinda, I want to talk to you. I'm having some issues um, with um, Little Boots or something like that. I, I don't want to speak to you. You know what Belinda was doing? She was on her way. She was driving, emergency driving her daughter to the hospital because her daughter was giving birth. That's right. And GP decided to give her a call to talk drama internet drama to her while she was dr speed driving to get her daughter birth to her child. <laughs> yeah, I just want to talk to you about this. And she was like, um, my daughter's giving birth right now, <laughs> but this is really important. Man, you are a man from the hood <laughs> and you're like gossip girls. Look at this. Here we go. Roll it. Well, I never, I wasn't, on, okay, could you, could you fancy that? Because you didn't know how big of an asshole you were being doesn't make you any less of an asshole. Okay, so, so, hold, you hold, apologize hold, for that? Hold, hold, hold on, first, first and foremost, before we hung up, I did say sorry to her. So right now, you really? are feeling stupid. I said, you know what, Belinda? And she could confirm it. I she was like, I'm I was not. like, Belinda, I was like, Belinda. I said, she was like, Belinda, um, she was like, yeah, GP, I'm driving right now. My, my daughter's about to have this and this. I said, oh shit. I said, then what am I talking about? I'm only talking about dumb shit. I'm sorry. My fault. <laughs> 
yeah, 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 I can't talk to you right now, nigga. Um, my daughter's giving birth. Uh, oh, 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 really? <laughs> first of all, why are you calling these women in the first place? Why are you calling women's phones to talk drama on the internet? <laughs> this is really important. <laughs> has anybody, has anybody had this happen to them? <laughs> Has anybody ever had this happen to them? <laughs> Hecate's daughter donated six Canadian dollars and 99 cents through Super Chat. Pew Pew went from I want to see the peen to save humanity real quick. She exactly. looks ridiculous. She looks crazy. She looks crazy. Thank you for the money. Thank you very much for the $7. She looks crazy. And everything I just said about uh, daughters um, stream the smash or past things are facts. It's facts. I was in there and I didn't even want to chat because I was so uncomfortable. Not because of what everybody else was saying. It was because of what she was saying. It was crazy. But again, just imagine you a gossip girl and some internet drama and you're having some beef with somebody and you got to give them a phone call. You couldn't hit them up on Twitter DMs or anything. You had to call their phone because it was so important. And Belinda was in the middle of her daughter giving birth and she was driving her to the hospital and this nigga calls her phone to talk gossip? What kind of man does that? And then you got the nerve to talk about me flirting with women in the DMs when you're over here getting women's phone numbers <laughs> and calling them? This nigga's weird. Go ahead, dog. Go ahead and handle your, go ahead and handle your business and just call me back. You know what Belinda said to me? She said, oh, okay, Keith, no problem. She said, I'm gonna send you a picture of the grandbaby. Because I call you like, like you, I have a little personal number. <laughs> Belinda was like, hey, 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 let me hang up with you. I'll send you a picture of my granddaughter. You're, you're, you're bothering me right now. <laughs> Imagine being that naggy ass nigga calling a woman you don't even know to talk about, hey, I want to talk to you about something real quick. What is it? Uh, uh, I, it's this woman on the Internet. <laughs> nigga, dog, what is wrong with you? Why are you calling these women? Why? So I don't have her number actually. That's not like me. I don't have anyone's okay. phone number from okay, here. Well, I have a personal number. Actually, I have Nexus. Tried to give it to me. Okay, well, I have her personal number. And I did apologize because I do feel. I, Why do you have a personal number? Because yeah. she gave it to me. She Why do you me. have so many people's phone number? Why do you ask for people's phone number? You've to call me who before. Who <laughs> <laughs> Why do you got so many women's numbers, dog? Why? Why do you want women's numbers, bro? What is it? Why do you need their phone numbers? This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. This guy. Getting all these women's phone numbers. Why do you want their phone? And why are you calling them at all times of the day and night, bro? <laughs> Is it that serious? This dude's weird. You have her personal number. Because she gave it to me. She why do you have so many people's phone number? Why do you ask for people's phone number? You asked to call me before. You asked me. Who asked to call on DMs? Hold on, I never asked you for your personal number. Show you me. Sarah. Show, show, show me for your personal number. Who else has he asked to call in chat? You guys want to raise your hand? <laughs> Who else has he called to chat? In chat, y'all want to raise y'all hands. Hands, if he's tried to call you. No, I haven't asked to call nobody else, but Sarah, uh -huh. Sarah was talking because Sarah was asking me questions about the registry and everything. I said, yo, let me show you I'm, I'm black. That's what I did with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's getting women's numbers to show him that he's black. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you, Michael Jackson? <laughs> I'm black. I'm white. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga's getting women's numbers to show him he's black. <laughs> What the fuck is going on around here? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> hey, uh, let me get your number real quick. Why, why, why you need my phone number? I want to show you I'm a nigga. <laughs> I need to, I need to show you something, baby. <laughs> what is this? What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you calling these women, man? What's wrong with you? Go ahead. Because that proves you're not on the registry. <laughs> No, no, that proves that I'm, I'm not fat and white. That's what that proves. That proves you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's, so that's you know, I, I think I get what you're saying more than you do, to be quite frank. Hmm? I think yeah. I understand what you're saying more than you do. Because, you, dude, why do you laugh? Like, why do you spin shit like this? You talk what, so what, much. What am I spinning? What am I spinning? Tell me. Oh, my God. You can't, so you keep saying things that I'm spinning, and then you go, oh, my God. Just lay it out to me. What am I spinning? Yeah. What did you don't I spin? lay shit out for me. I want to see the, I just, I I see the screenshot you. of me saying that shit. But you already admitted to saying that you did say it. So why, <laughs> why do I need to provide a screenshot? If you admitted to it, I don't need to know that you said it because you already agreed to it. I don't want to Why do you always want to VC with people? Why do you try and get one on one with everyone? Why are you offering that to your members? What's the contract going to be? Were you just like dissing contracts on your last live? Dissing contracts? What, what yeah, you were making your 
What contract you said that what, so what precautions are going to be in place to not have uh, your chats be recorded for your members? Oh, I was going to do so. I was going to do like on the app that I found that like live. Um, we call it Telegram, and then that's it. Send through to stream yards on Telegram. You can't record. And only reason, only reason, it's not only me that was doing it. It was me and Love. We was going to do shows. What I guess we was going to do. Um, we was going to show because we because we can't show identities to everybody. So we gonna show it to certain members. Hey, since you want to, you know, you, you want to see how Love and GP look, come on up here and we we all just talk and we. Why? This nigga was. Let me tell you this, man, GP. And I know you I never thought I would see this a day in my life. This nigga was having people sign up to see his face. <laughs> to no 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 wait. To pay. This nigga did this own weird ass OnlyFans. He said, "Hey, you want to see my face? You got to pay for it." What? <laughs> it was like this. You're a weirdo, dude. <laughs> hey, you want to see my face? Uh, you got to pay this. You got to pay for it. You was he was about to have women pay to see him. <laughs> You can't make dumb shit up like this, bro. This You can't make dumb shit up like this. This man was trying to get people to not record, so he was going to have them b go into this app where they had to pay to see him. Who the fuck wants to pay to see you, dog? <laughs> it's, it's weird. Hey, since you want to, you know, you, you want to see how Love GP look, come on up here and we, we all just talk. And we, Why do you want people to pay? That's so weird. You want, want people to pay to see you? Hey, you want to see my face? Five dollars. Well, who gives a fuck? Like, really? Like, really? Well, he said, well, who gives a fuck? <laughs> you want to see my face? Five dollars. <laughs> well, who gives a fuck? That's weird, dog. It's weird. Who's paying five dollars to see your face, bro? <laughs> I mean, you talk about scams. <laughs> this nigga was about to charge five dollars to see his face. This is crazy. <laughs> you can't even make this shit up. I can't even make this up, bro. <laughs> now I know why you took a break from the internet and deleted your channel. You're a weirdo. <laughs> oh, man, you're a weirdo. Five dollars? <laughs> man, this nigga, this nigga was charging five dollars to see his face. <laughs> hey, some OnlyFans shit. Backwards. <laughs> you want to see my face? I'm going to charge you five dollars. <laughs> what are you going to bring a woman in a dark room and shit? They, you, you, they're going to pay at the front. They're going to walk in a dark room. And then you, all of a sudden, you're going to turn on the lights and go, here I am. <laughs> here I am, baby. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people, man? You can't make this dumb shit up. <laughs> uh, here I am, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> $5. Nigga charging five dollars to see his face. That's crazy. <laughs> Who the fuck is paying five dollars to see your face, nigga? You gotta be. You lost your damn mind. Some of these people lost their damn mind. God damn it. Just like my girl Erie Pepperoni. Now, <laughs> girl world is crazy, y'all. Erie Pepperoni. I don't know if y'all know this, but she a Ghostbuster. <laughs> God, she, she's a ghostbuster. I didn't even know this. I mean, you'll be finding weird shit out about people sometimes. But Eri Pepperoni, ladies and gentlemen, is a fucking real life ghostbuster. Here she is <laughs> um, going after a ghost that was in somebody's house. <laughs> she, was, she has a ghostbuster kid and everything. It's weird. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk to me. Go ahead. Talk to me, Eri. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, so I don't know what it captured, but we've been here for some time now, and uh, <laughs> we've had a lot of communications. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> These, she got a friend with her. <laughs> her friend doesn't talk. I think she's like the ghost communicator. I don't know what's going on. But they got all these devices, and they go around to people's houses trying to trap ghosts <laughs> and take them out of the house. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. <laughs> I thought I was tripping, but this is true. Look at her. She's dressed like a moron. Like <laughs> She's about to catch a ghost, y'all. Let's see this. Um, one of the main ones that stands out is we had a dark entity present themselves forward saying right. that they've been here for 300 years. Okay. <laughs> 300 years? <laughs> you trying to catch Jesus? What's going on? <laughs> 300 years. 300 BC, goddammit. <laughs> what is going on, man? <laughs> Not 300 years. Come on. We've gotten very heavy spikes on the EMF. <laughs> 
Did I tell you she got a Ghostbusters device? Y'all thought I was playing. Y'all niggas thought I was fucking around. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> she got a Ghostbuster device. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I spot him. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh, man. Hillbilly Belinda donated $2 yes. through Super Chat. Yes. He sent me foot pics. <laughs> I sure did. I did. Thank you for the $2, Hillbilly. <laughs> Hillbilly, did you get to the hospital safe? <laughs> did you? I got to ask you, Hillbilly, you okay? Is, is your daughter had the baby? Was everything fine? <laughs> did you find it kind of weird that GP called you while you were on the road driving as fast as you can to get your daughter to the hospital to deliver the baby? Are you, is everything fine? <laughs> that nigga really called you to talk about some fucking internet drama? While you were, <laughs> hey, uh, well, uh, you know what, uh, Belinda, I'm having some issues. <laughs> uh, honey, 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 push, push. Yeah, what's going on? What, is, it, is it that important? It's very important, Belinda. I need to talk to you about Little Boots. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Why'd you give that nigga your number? <laughs> Why did you give that nigga your number? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I would have never. Man crazy <laughs> you trying to you trying to, you know your daughter trying to have a baby and this nigga's calling the phone that's crazy <laughs> a treater okay um wasn't, there were a lot wasn't driving or somebody else was driving okay <laughs> it's, just, it's still wild it's still wild you had to hang up with them like that <laughs> a lot of children here that were basically being held back by that entity that we released and i think he's pissed and that's why he's playing games with us oh mm -hmm. and it's not gonna work again Okay, because I am now switching to full camera mode. Okay. Welcome to Paranormal Empire. <laughs> okay. Doesn't she look like Danny DeVito? <laughs> look at this. Welcome to Little Empire. <laughs> we represent. <laughs> Why is she so small? Welcome to Paranormal Empire. Right here. <laughs> okay, so we came here. What do you want? What do we want? <laughs> What is this? Why are you playing games? <laughs> She's talking to a ghost, y'all. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, hey, ghost. Why are you playing games? Why are you up so obsessed with me? <laughs> and why does this woman got a stick in her? <laughs> I told y'all I'm not playing. She thinks she's a ghostbuster, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> why are you so obsessed with me? She's talking to a ghost, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's weird. Me apagó la cámara, el hijo de puta. Calm. Calm. What is this? Okay. Do you want us to be calm? Because we're not going to be when you're that. Oh, and it also threatened us with a machete. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, my, the ghost threatened them with a machete. I, I just, I'm selling y'all. <laughs> It also y'all missed the part where um, the ghost came running after us with a machete. Now, let me tell y'all something in the chat. If there was some entity out there that you couldn't see and it was a ghost and it was running around with a machete, you telling me you're going to go back to the same... <laughs> Y'all telling me y'all going back to the spot where a ghost chased you with a machete? Talk to me, Chad. I'm saying, I'm not going. No. Let me, please, please, please. Nalia Greenheart donated $4.99 oh, through Super Chat. Girl, what in the Zach Baggins is this? What in the Zach Baggins? I'm the one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking pry out here. Uh. <laughs> Somebody said it was naked and laughing, dog, chasing them. <laughs> I can't do this. The chat is undefeated. G donated $4.99 through Super Chat. GP was the middleman getting private pics and footage of Bridge and sent them to Tragic. He was supposed to set up a video call to Wild Shit. I heard about that, GP. I heard about that. I heard that's the reason why you don't talk about Bridget no more. I heard that. Mm-hmm. 
I heard you was getting, I heard you was getting them nudes, my guy. Very disgusting, man. Very disgusting. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just nasty, man. Just nasty. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. That I'm just saying, though. <laughs> I'm just not going no place where a fucking ghost is chasing me around with a machete. What is this? <laughs> what are we doing? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Naked and laughing. The chat is undefeated. I'm the one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. Uh. <laughs> Pets <laughs> donated five pounds yes. through Super Chat. Don't judge your mama. Farida and I are going to go ghost hunting slightly smiling face. Thank you very much. Thank you for the five dollar pets. Go ghost hunting. <laughs> Bring your ghost material. Bring your ghost buster kit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is what she does. Oh, this is what she does on a weekly basis, though. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not a hobby. This is not having fun. She's dead ass serious. <laughs> a ghost chased her around with a machete. <laughs> it was Jason. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. <laughs> he had a hockey mask on. <laughs> These are the kind of woods Jason Voorhees would hide out in <laughs> 300 years ago. <laughs> I've seen this movie. <laughs> Do oh, you man. understand? Yes, we understand you perfectly clear. Yeah. The fucking ghost is talking through an app. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing this too often. You telling me a ghost from 300 years ago is talking through an app? <laughs> this is did he have a phone too? Like, what is it? Was it an iPhone? <laughs> this is... <laughs> how did the ghost learn how to use an app, y'all? <laughs> that's her friend. <laughs> Jessica Beska said, is that Erie Pepperoni's wig or that's her that's her friend? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. If a ghost died, if somebody died 300 years ago, how the fuck are they talking through an app? <laughs> yeah, let me talk through this app real quick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah uh, you got text messages. I text also. <laughs> I text. Oh, come on, man. There's something right here. The wig is. You feel it? Yeah. Uh oh, there right. she feel it. She got the stick. Dad, keep an eye on this. Make sure it's blinking red, like run right there. No, I'm not gonna run. No. How about that? You can run away. Oh yeah, there's a spike there for sure. Uh -oh, it's on a the spike. yellow. There's yeah. A spike. I can feel like a heavy thing right there. You right there, right like there, because I was staring yeah. over there. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, I'm like the me. one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. <laughs> Man, I can swear to God, I can hear Queen Cobra being a ghost <laughs> hunting these motherfuckers like. Oh, I'm the one that fucking <laughs> accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like a heaviness by you. Yeah, because it, it's right there. It's right here. Yeah. It's right there. Turn Even the camera. We want to see it. Nothing. We want to see All it. Turn right, the camera. What do you want? What do you want? What's the end game here, sir? Whatever you are. Yeah, what do you. You know what? I find that very. I, I, it, you don't know if it's a he or she, okay? You don't know if it's a he or she, okay? Do not do that. <laughs> I get really upset. You picked on children and probably scared the shit out of them, but you're not going to do that daughter. here. Okay. You see that red dot blinking? I swear to God, whoever sold them all this stupid ass equipment, I bet you he uh, he made his commission for the year. <laughs> he, he ain't nobody was trying to buy Ghostbuster equipment <laughs> until they walked in. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait a minute. I got customers. Hey, hey, I just going. Uh, what do you need? Are you looking for ghosts? OK, listen, I got this right here. <laughs> I got this uh, detector. I got this app that you can download is a ghost. Is a Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You talk to the ghost and the ghost talks through the app. I'm telling you. <laughs> This is weird. We lost like 30 minutes of footage and I'm oh, pissed. Yeah. So you better get to answering because you were playing with my equipment. You better say stuff. Yeah. She got a she got a whole truck, y'all. <laughs> she got a whole truck. How did she get her friend to get involved in this? That's weird. Sorry, Dad. 
I don't like people that mess with kids. No. Living or dead. Especially how itty bitty they were. There's no breeze, right? Mm -hmm. And that thing keeps on swaying back and forth. Like what? right over there next <laughs> to you. Why can we never see nothing? Here we go. <laughs> Why did they choose these woods? Like, <laughs> like, like, I gotta ask y'all a question, Chad. All right. Just say they say there was a ghost, right? There's a ghost in this part of the woods, in this dark, nothing going on part of the woods. I'm looking at this and she's saying, the ghost is picking on children. When it comes in this area, it ain't like this is a motherfucking playground. <laughs> Why are little kids playing in this area anyway? <laughs> I'm just saying, there's nothing there. <laughs> Why are kids running around in this little dark, damp area with trees and things on the ground? Like, there shouldn't be kids playing around here. <laughs> if I, if if anything, if a ghost needed to be somewhere, this would be the perfect spot to be left alone, right? <laughs> It ain't like he's at a playground fucking with kids. He's in some, like, little-ass area. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why is kids playing in this little area anyway? <laughs> you know? <laughs> kids play in the woods? Yeah, they play in the woods, but I'm just saying, like... <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not... It's too dark for that, though. It, this, this, this place looks too creepy. It looks too creepy, man. I'm just saying. It looks too creepy. I'm not, I'm not letting no kids play in this little area. I mean, maybe in, like... Like far out somewhere, but this is too creepy. She found the creepiest spot ever. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Eric Pepperoni took the video down. <laughs> she took it down. <laughs> she took it down. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> she she came into my channel and told me, "Yo, Mama, why don't you play um, the video of my um, paranormal paranormal videos? Why you never play my paranormal videos? I show my face in my paranormal videos, and then I sit here and I watch her paranormal vi paranormal videos, and then she wants to take it down." <laughs> Weird. <laughs> we want to see you capture the ghost. Why we we didn't even get to the end of Ghostbusters. We didn't get to the end. <laughs> God, eerie pepperoni. You got all you talk all this shit about Foodie Beauty. You talk about all this shit about how Foodie Beauty got thin skin and all this other shit. But then when we sit here and we play your video and we laugh at you, you don't like it, huh? You immediately take your video down. Remind you of somebody? Mm. <laughs> Reminds me of somebody, huh? <laughs> you sure can dish it, but you can't take it. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. <laughs> uh, paranoia, paranormal activities, huh? Mm. But anyway, mm, like I said, is she going to delete them all? <laughs> the hypocrisy's out of control, right? <laughs> You you talk about Foodie Beauty every day, but we play one video and you you lost it. <laughs> she took that shit down. God damn, that's crazy. Can, can we watch another one? Can we watch this one though? The Blair Witch one. <laughs> Why did everyone go quiet? <laughs> Y'all gotta see this. <laughs> you can, uh, Eerie Pepperoni, you watch it. Take this one down too. <laughs> Take this one down, too. <laughs> Why is everybody so quiet? We're looking for a ghost today. <laughs> the Ghostbusters. Take this one down, too. <laughs> Why are you at it? <laughs> Look at the app, 1900s. <laughs> Start talking. Look at the app, y'all. <laughs> Look at the app. <laughs> the ghost got to get close to the fucking phone. <laughs> uh, hello, I am a ghost. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, hey, Ghost, do you want to be on my podcast? <laughs> it's been 400 years. <laughs> oh, I am the one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. <laughs> <laughs> Take this shit down, Eric. <laughs> Take it down. 
Take that shit down, man. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. You can feel it? Another one? Where's he at? Where's this one? Who's at? talking to me right now? Uh oh. She's talking to the ghost. Yeah, it does feel pretty icky over here. So I'm guessing they <laughs> creeped on over. That isn't the one who was talking. <laughs> I just can't touch. Oh, man. I tried to do the EMS with you, but... Take that shit down, man. Take that shit down. literally making the battery go up. Oh, man. And I know you're next to me. <laughs> I know you're next to me? What are you talking about? Look at this. <laughs> Thought I saw something behind me, but you are not allowed to follow or attach to us, okay? I'm alone here. <laughs> so who are you? What's your name? What's your name? Talk to him. What's his name? That's fine. You just can't touch me. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> take, it, take, it. take this down, please. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Oh, well, thank you for telling me an H. Um, what happened to you? <laughs> I need to download this app, yo. <laughs> I need to download this app. I need to, hey, Eerie Pepperoni, since you're in here, hey, can I download this app? And then can I change the voice of the app? Because I want the app to sound scarier. I don't want Siri to sound like a computer, all right? Can I change the app voice? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> I want to get this app, and when the and when the ghost talks to me, I want to hear them. To, I want to hear them in Queen Cobra's voice, like this. I am the one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. <laughs> I want a Queen Cobra voiced ghost. That's what I want. I want to change the app voice, <laughs> so I can feel like Queen Cobra's always around. I want to run. I want to run some water in my bathtub. <laughs> And then talk to a ghost, and then King, Queen Cobra comes. <laughs> I want the I want the water demon. <laughs> you want to hear the water the water oh, demon? I am the one that fucking accepted <laughs> it and fucking took my time to fucking fly out here. Uh. <laughs> I want the water demon. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> y'all want to find some ghosts? Go to Queen Cobra's house <laughs> when she's running wa and run water. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh man, that'd be hilarious. That'll be funny though. That'd actually be funny. I'll actually watch Erie Pepperoni and her friend um, load up the ghost mobile <laughs> and drive over to Queen Cobra's house <laughs> and go in her house and run some water and talk to a ghost. <laughs> I would. I would watch that. That would be funny. I'm sorry you you know <laughs> died so young. Oh. Blonde hair. Oh, you have blonde hair? Nice, very nice. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, Gary Pepperoni. This is this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh uh <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Gary Pepperoni. What? <laughs> No 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 I listen you motherfucker or I don't know we I don't have a problem with you making fun of me but please be respectful of my spirituality which I am actually very serious about wow really I wanna put that on the screen Erie Pepperoni donated $19.99 through Super Chat. Thanks for the 20. Listen, I'm up with you making fun of me, uh -huh. but please be respectful of my spirituality, which I am actually why very serious about. And that's my sister. Respectful of your spirituality? But you don't got no respect for a woman that wants to be Muslim. And you don't got no respect for the Muslim race, but you want to sit here and we can't laugh at you? And this... That's crazy. The hypocrisy is out of control in this community. We've heard you say a bunch of stuff about her not being a Muslim, her not being married, her faking the hijab and all that shit you be talking. And then we clown you for this ghost shit. And now you're getting in your feelings. Man, I love this shit, community. 
I love this shit. I love this shit. You got a lot to say about a woman and her religion, but then when we talk about you, I take it serious. Oh, 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 look at how the tables have turned, huh? Mrs. She don't, she didn't pray in the right direction. Mrs. Her, uh, her, her Ramadan, uh, all that you do, the Quran and all that shit you talk. But as soon as we talk about you, you don't like, it. I love this shit, man. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, this community. Y'all talk all this shit about anybody else and their religion and their race and what they going through. But then when we talk about you, when we talk about you, all of a sudden you get in your feelings. How, how I'm, I get emotional and I'm, I'm very serious about this. But then don't talk about another woman wanting to be Muslim or converting or doing whatever with their religion. Don't talk about it. Keep that out of your mouth. That's, that's what you can do. You, you don't have the right to talk about nobody else being a Christian, Catholic, how they, how they participate in their religion or whatever. Calling them fake. They're not praying in the right direction. Haramadan, saying Muslim terms you don't have no clue about. Don't talk about nobody else's religion on this platform. If you can't handle nobody clowning yours. I don't even know if that's a religion. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> it's crazy. The hypocrisy. You send me $20 to show everybody you're a hypocrite? That's what you did right now? You sent me $20 to show the world you a hypocrite. You ain't, if you can't, if you dishing it out, you should be able to take it then, right? Because if I sat on my platform and I talked about somebody converting to a Christian and them not following it by the book, how dare them disrespect and all this other stuff, all the disrespectful things that coming out of my mouth about somebody that's trying to take their religion seriously. You shouldn't be mad if somebody do the same thing to you. Period. So maybe you need to check yourself. Maybe now you see how we feel now, right? Now you see how we feel when somebody going at you. Now you see how we feel. Now you see how that hurt. Now you, now, now you can understand why it might hurt somebody else, you doing it to them. Okay, now we on the same page. Now we, now we here. Now we here. Unbelievable. Nah, I ain't thin skin. She said, nah, I ain't thin skin, but she deleted her video. <laughs> you deleted your video and then you sent $19 talking about respect your spirituality. Respect your spirituality. That's crazy. That's crazy coming from a woman that don't respect nobody else's religion. But I ain't asking you to do it though. You you want to get you want to talk about somebody's religion? Well then, <laughs> what is this? You actually, you you can't be. Have a spirit. You, you, it's just crazy. It's, the hypocrisy is out of this world, man. Mm. It's out of this world. The embarrassing shit that you've been saying about foodie beauty, it's nasty, disgusting. And that's why I've been on your bumper. You don't understand that? You don't get it? Yeah, you can call her out for her bad behavior. I've called her out for her bad behavior. I've called her out for her words. I've called her out for things that she said that was disrespectful. I ain't got no problem with that. But when it comes to somebody wanting to convert and their religion... And it comes to them praying the direction that they want to pray in. And they find they God any way, anyhow. Everybody got the right to find God. Everybody. Even the worst people are the worst people can find God in prison and jail. That's their thing. I'm not going to touch that. That's their religion. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to pray. All power to you and all power to your God. Appreciate that. I'm not going to rag on nobody that want to find themselves or find their God. That's their, that's their journey. That's what they got to do. But the fact that you ragging on somebody every day on that and calling her fake and doing all that weird shit you do, and then we play a video and we clown you for 20 seconds and you can't handle it? Crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. It's weird. Mm. If you're going to dish it, you better be able to take it. I don't care about my spirituality, my journey. Who are you? Talk, you talk all that shit, and now you're talking about spirituality. It's crazy to me. Where they do that at? Ah, damn, man. These people are so thin-skinned. It's crazy. Oh. 
Ain't this where? Uh, 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 where's Foodie? But here's Yaba. Here's Yaba. <laughs> she ain't got no content. I love it. Hey, I love that Foodie gone, bro. I love Foodie gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love that Foodie gone. These people ain't got no content. Yaba had no content today. It was absolutely beautiful to watch somebody not being able to talk about nothing. <laughs> Look at this. Foodie gone. Whitney Whitney stumbled upon Darkest Coven, Crystal, Cheeto Firecat, uh, Alana, Great Aunt Ray, Sky for Robert Jean, Moon Pa, actually a bear, STD, <laughs> DD, Foodie gone. Just saying. I know. I mean, you ain't wrong, DG. Listen, don't think I ain't sat around and thought about what's going on with Chantel and have we all been duped and was Chantel just some character? Don't think that I've been just not sitting around thinking what's happening with Chantel. I thought y'all hated this woman. I thought y'all wanted her off of YouTube. I thought y'all wanted her gone. And she's been, her behavior so disgusting and nasty, no one should see her. Then she leaves and then you sit around and go, what's going on? Where is she? I thought your lives would be better if she wasn't here. Don't seem like it. They doing whole ass streams trying to figure out where she gone. They're <laughs> on the YouTube and now the show's been canceled and it's over and they've packed their bags and went home and we're sitting here like, uh, is this thing on? You know what I mean? Hey, Misty, Wolf and Gray. It's me, Tiffany. Hello, Auntie M. Good to see you. Great Aunt Ray. Hello, hello. The Critical Smoker. Kelly Doxy. Hello. She need that grocery money. Aid Witch. She need that grocery okay, money. Love you too, babe. Uh, Grateful Little Farm. Amy P. Cat. Harley Quinn. I love Black Cats. Here's what I will say, though. What? 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 As far as the location of Chantel right now, where is she? Mm -hmm. It's like a Truman show that's been canceled. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. What if? What if we've been the one that's been duped? Oh. We've been watching what we thought was some real life train, Canadian death fat train wreck. Right. And then all this time, she was just some paid actor. Fuck. DG, you just fucked up my whole. Now she's a paid actor? <laughs> <laughs> See, they thought that she needed this YouTube money so much that she always got to go live. She always got to make a video. She always got to be on on doing um doing community posts. Always got to stay relevant. And now they're realizing, wait a minute, maybe she doesn't need this YouTube as much as we think we thought she needed this YouTube. Thank you for the five gifted pets. Thank you very much. They're figuring this out. They're finding out maybe she don't need this goddamn YouTube as much as everybody say she needs it. And y'all drove her away from the content that y'all been wanting. Thank you again, Pets, for the five gifted. Five gifted by Ninja. Five gifted by Pets. Five gifted by Ninja. Jesus. God damn it. I, I, I need to move in here. Thank you for the five gifted Ninja. And um, goddamn um, pets. God damn it! I need to. I man, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I need, I need to move in here. We need a dance break, baby. We need to turn up. Eerie pepperoni and a ghost. Five gifted. Five from Ninja. Five by pets. Let's go. Let's go, Eerie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Eerie. Was that a ghost? Wait, was that a ghost? I'm the one that fucking accepted it and fucking took my time to fucking pry out here. Uh. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Five gifted ninja, five gifted pets. Riley. Thank you for the
for the five gifted. Thank you for the five from Ninja. Pets. Thank you very much, Pets. Thank you very much, uh, Ninja. Five gifted. Let me tell y'all, straight up, Eerie Pepperoni, I know you in the chat right now. I know you in the stream. If you out in the woods right now, stand up and let's get down. Let's go. Eerie Pepperoni, call one of your ghosts right now. Get them in front of me. Wait a minute. Holy shit. I feel the presence of a ghost right in front of me. I got to dance with this ghost. by pets or maybe it's pets 2.0 we don't know we don't know Te pets 2.0 are you going ghost hunting or are you not going ghost hunting let me freedom pets going ghost hunting ah, I like this <laughs> I gotta I gotta see this you better vlog when you do it. You better vlog when you do it. If you, I, I'm into the ghost thing now. Eerie pepperoni, you got us all into these ghosts right now. Thank you for the ten, 10 gifted pets. Now I'm going ghost hunting. We're all going ghost hunting, God damn it! It's a spiritual thing, all right? It's a spiritual thing. <laughs> I've been taking it serious. I didn't know it was... <laughs> You know, somebody said, damn, if a ghost wanted to be talked to, it'll just knock on your damn door. Talk to me. <laughs> How is it a spiritual thing? Talk to me. Why are you fucking with ghosts anyway? If they don't want to get fucked with, why are you fucking with them? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm <laughs> if a nigga wanted you to know what's going on, he would have hit you up. I saw the movie Ghost. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I saw Whoopi Goldberg. All right. <laughs> Talk to me. It ain't no spiritual thing. If a ghost want to be fucked with, he'll hit you up. <laughs> you ain't got to go to him. He'll come to you. <laughs> Them niggas can fly. <laughs> that gets to you faster, goddammit. Talking about his spirituality. Well, let's get to the spirit then. Thank you, Pets, for the 10 gifted. <laughs> I feel a spirit. I'm the ghost membership gifter. Hey, yo. Flying in with that one with the five. Ten gifted five. Ninja, thank you very much. Pets, Ninja, thank you. God damn it. I'm just saying. Just saying. I didn't know it was a spiritual thing, but I'm going to tell you this right off the rip. Like I said, if a ghost wanted to be fucked with, he'll hit you up. <laughs> you don't need to go to him. You don't need to call him. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? She talking about? Pets donated five Crazy. pounds through Super Chat. Crazy. I'm the ghost of membership gifting law. 100%. Shit. Sorry, I had to do a dance break. Whew, that, was, that felt good. Now we back. We back. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go, Yaba. Talk to me. Talk to me, Yaba. Day. How, what, what, I can't even, can't even think right after that. What's wrong with you? Right. Alaria, hello. Serene Sky, Kyle, hello. Maritza's life. Shiny seals, big balls. Good morning to my favorite fatties. Love you all. Make sure to drink some water, and if you can, go for a walk. Oh, and don't forget to like the stream. Yes, everything that was mentioned 
in the uh, member milestone, please, if you can, do that. Do Thank all you, that. Thank you, Shani uh, Sills Big Balls. I'm streaming with Pete somewhere in Canada. I mean, that's that's the best case, the best possible scenario, right? Panda Pondu, I think that everybody would love that. <laughs> you tripping, Miss Ann. Don't come in here telling me I'm tripping. Tell DG she's tripping. She's the one coming here planting those seeds. Now I got to fucking water them. Right? She knows. I'm not going to move no forward, but Yaba spent the majority of her, of her stream talking about Foodie Beauty. Then she moved from Foodie Beauty to talking about <laughs> uh, Peanut. That wasn't popping. Then she went back to talking now, about Foodie like, Beauty. Me and Sam are both getting sued since we're married now because I'm still you all over the stupor that you have found yourself in yet again. How old, are, how old is this? I'll leave it up to you. But for now, we're going to pivot back because we didn't watch this together. This is, I feel like going over foodies, uh, Tom, in Canada is pretty important now. But so it's pretty important to go back to rewatching Foodie Beauty's time in Canada. Oh, sorry. I haven't watched this with you guys. This is a four day old video. Foodie Beauty hasn't gone live. Foodie Beauties hasn't uploaded. Nothing's going on. And it's very important that I slow down my stream so I can go over everything Foodie Beauty did in Canada. Just say you ain't got no content. What is what what are we streaming tomorrow, Yaba? Huh? Um, Foodie Beauty, um, 10 days ago. We didn't we didn't watch this together. So you're gonna go back to watching all the videos you didn't watch with your stream, even if you gotta go back two years. Five months, six months. <laughs> but you say that you don't need Foodie Beauty. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It ain't got nothing. Soft Reset donated $3.33 through Super Chat. Happy Eid Mubarak. Black heart, black heart, yeah. black heart. Thank you, thank you, Soft Reset, for the $4. Let me tell you, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing to talk about. It's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all can't move on from nothing. Look at me. Look at me. I moved on. I got eerie pepperoni <laughs> and her Ghostbuster ventures. We're going to watch more of that. Come on, eerie. Don't be like that. All right. Can we can we continue to watch a Ghostbusters? I, I will take your spirituality <laughs> spirituality seriously. <laughs> but it's embarrassing. These people are just weird, bro. They got nothing to talk about. Is it? Foodie Beauty? She's gone? Nothing. Nothing. Tomorrow. What are we talking about, Yaba? <laughs> what are we talking about? What's next? <laughs> it's crazy. And now everybody jumping on the Queen Cobra train. Now it's like Queen Cobra. Queen Cobra. What is Queen Cobra doing? How is Queen Cobra doing? What did, let me tell y'all something. And I want to tell a lot of people off the rip about Queen Cobra. Okay? And this is real. All right? Uh, and, and oh yeah, and I'm gonna break this down too. Let me let me show y'all this video right quick about King Cobra. So oh, my uh, troll King Cobra subreddit page has got deleted. Deleted. Look at how that nigga drinks a martini. <laughs> he likes it shaken, not stirred. Let me tell y'all something, because everybody's getting it wrong. Everybody's asking. Oh, where's Je I, I, I'm, I'll pull up Jessica Mesca's stream. I forgot to do that from yesterday. Because this is going to prove me right. Because I want to be proven right. I'm going to show y'all that your mama is the GOAT. I'm going to show y'all I'm the greatest of all time. I'm going to prove y'all right. I'm going to prove that I'm right about everything. Hold on. This is gonna, she going to prove it for me. I date people. <laughs> Ten gifted by Ninja. Thank you very much, Ninja. Ten gifted. Ten gifted by Ninja. Thank you.
I'm going to prove to the world. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. And why is King Cobra still with Queen Cobra? Why is he putting up with Naked and Laughing? And this is, when you hear this, you're going to say, damn, this nigga's good. I know exactly why King Cobra is with Queen Cobra. People are saying, why would he put up with this abuse from this crazy lady? Before King Cobra met Queen Cobra, he ain't get no pussy in six years. He was on a six-year dry spell. No woman would come near this man. Every woman would watch him and look at him in disgust. He was an alcoholic. He looked like he stink. No one would give him the time of day. Nobody sympathized with him. Everybody made fun of him. He was this. He was that. He would eat disgusting food. He was just a disgusting man. But when he got with Queen Cobra, when he got with toxic as Queen Cobra, what changed? People started sympathizing more with King Cobra. Imagine no woman likes you and you're not getting no love. And then all of a sudden you get with a toxic woman. And all of a sudden, these women start coming around to you and going, you, don't, you could do better. You could do better. Matter of fact, you don't need her. You can get somebody else. And all of a sudden, all, you're getting all this attention from all these women that you never got before. Remember that. Remember. I remember when I was in high school, I dated this girl. She was toxic as fuck. But no other girl would show me no love. But I was dating this toxic girl. And all of a sudden, all these girls came out of the woodwork. Like, why are you with her? You can do better. Yo, mama, you are just, you're a good guy. I'm like, you didn't talk to me before I was talking to her. Now I'm all of, now I'm looking sexy. That's what King Cobra's doing. King Cobra's getting all this sympathy. King Cobra's getting all these people in the chat that used to say stupid and troll the shit out of them. Now they're all like, King Cobra, man, you should leave her, man. You could do better. You're a good dude. All that shit. He's getting all that sympathy. He's getting all that love. And I saw it with my own eyes yesterday. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think I would hear this in a million years. Even Jessica Messica. Jessica Messica last night. She was like, you know what? Looking at King Cobra in that light, them lips, he don't look that bad. <laughs> he looking good in a certain light now, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga looking a little sexier, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't get that nigga a time of day before Queen Cobra came around. Now all of a sudden, you You know what? He ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if you can look past his decay, his, his teeth, his missing teeth, his stench, his pirate hat... He ain't that bad. <laughs> the nigga look a lot better to you women now, huh? I noticed this. I noticed this. I noticed this because what I'm saying ain't a lie. Now he's going on panels. Women are all like, you could do better. She's not good for you. Come on, King Cobra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because let me tell you something. If that was me, like when I was in a toxic relationship, when I was with my toxic girlfriend, and I was and and, and none of these women ever showed me no attention. But all of a sudden they showing me attention because they see how she treating me. She's she she going to different periods, not wanting to hold my hand. She's screaming at me like, go get my books. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going. And girls seeing that and they like, they giving her the stank eye. But then they giving, they showing me love. Like, look at what kind of man he is. He's putting up with her. He deserves better. He deserves me. I know what that feel like. It feel good. It feel good. It feel good to not be noticed by the women 
And then all of a sudden you get with one woman and she treats you like shit. And now everybody's loving you. Huh? Now everybody's showing you love. But here is Jessica Messica. She said, he, he ain't that bad. <laughs> you know, I, I know what to look for when I cook crab. And you see, they're starting to. All right. Hold, I like how he said he has no idea. Know, they're so gonna like I'm going to show you them. I have them both right here. Hold on. I got to do it in Discord. Call them today, man. You know, that crab looks like it's going to boil on the. Oh. Cooked. If the mead was good, it would have been gone by now. Thanks. I like red lobster. I like turkey, to be honest. I can't let power fork and do that. It don't matter. I'm just giving you an update. All into that crab leg goodness. Snow crab. Look, if you go to the red lobster. He looks like the black picture of him right now. Have you guys seen the two versions of black cobes? Black Cobra. You know, there's... Have you seen the two versions? No. The, and I'm oh, saying yeah. this with peace and love versions. as someone who's gained an incredible amount of weight. He's definitely getting a little chunky, but I think he almost looks better chunky like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He looking a little better, ain't he? <laughs> First, he made compliments on his lips. He said his, his lips is kind of... Got some nice lips, <laughs> and and look at he looks a little he looks a little sexier, chunky like this. <laughs> Never in a million years would I ever thought anybody would find anything attractive by uh, about King Cobra, but all of a sudden, <laughs> the women are coming out of the woodworks. <laughs> he looks good in this certain light right here when it hits him. <laughs> yeah, Randy Watson. <laughs> Stop telling me I have a crush on Cobes. Don't even start. Am I ovulating? <laughs> I she had to check herself. <laughs> she said, wait a minute. <laughs> what is going on here? She don't even know what hit her. I'm telling y'all, this is what it is. King Cobra is finally getting the attention that he's always wanted. And it all comes from the toxic, the toxic, the toxicity of Queen Cobra. She's so damn toxic and crazy and loony and psycho, she's making this man look good. Not in a million years would anybody look at this man and go, you know what, if he uh, shaves that beard, uh, he's doable. <laughs> Things are changing now, ain't it, ladies? I'm telling y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know, y'all won't admit it, y'all won't admit it that some, when you see a man that, not, that you thought wasn't attractive and all of a sudden he got with a toxic girl and he and and he flaunting her around and she treating him like shit. You start feeling sympathy for him. You start being like, you know what? He, he's a nice guy. You know what? If he shaves his beard, he, he's he can get somebody good. And maybe I date him, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might be ovulating. Look at that. I Look might be that. ovulating. I think he looks better, fatter. Look at that. Looks better. Uh-huh. He sure does. So this is attractive cobes. Attractive. Where's, you know what? It, I never thought I'd hear that. Attractive coves. Look at that. <laughs> He's attractive now. <laughs> Talk to me nicely. Yeah, but you know what? If he took his hat off. Yeah. If his forehead is not getting fatter, it's going to uh -huh. make him really. Um, oh, what is going to make him? Yo, with his hat off, I bet his head looks just like a butternut squash right now. Mm. I think he has a butternut squash head. Mm. Hold on. I got to try to find the two Joshes. Mm hmm. I don't know if I have both the pictures. If I just search Black King Cobra, is that going to be... Um, black King Cobra. I'm at, I want to see. Um, she shows the black version of King Cobra. Hold on. I have it somewhere. I swear to God, this nigga looks like Ice T from New Jack City. I swear he does. Wait a minute. Let me get this picture. Let me get this side by side. I've been... Huh, I said that in her chat yesterday. Let me get this side by side. He, let me let me see if I'm lying. Uh, 
dude, dude, I'm on. I'm, I'm so fucking good at this. I might be the best. I might be the best at this. Tell me if I'm lying, if I'm lying. I knew he did. I knew he looked like Ice-T from New Jack City, bitch. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here. What? I knew he did. I said that in Jessica chat yesterday. He looked like fucking Ice T from New Jack City. Somebody said no. What? He don't look like he don't look like Ice T. Man, come on, y'all don't see that. Man, hold on. Let me get another one. That wasn't a good one. Let me get him with the shades. He don't look like Ice T with the New Jack, the New Jack City. What? Hold on. I thought that. Uh... I got I got to get him in the dark though when he when he busted that gun. New Jack, New Jacks. Man, she said no. That's crazy. That nigga looked just like the nigga, man. Hold on, I might be tripping. I might be tripping. I might be tripping. This nigga looked just like him. That nigga don't look like that nigga, man. Cause all the all the pictures is is like, look at that. That don't look look like he don't look like Ice T. Stop it! <laughs> I'm saying though, he kind of man. When I saw him, I I went to go watch a movie. That's crazy, man. This nigga. Man, fucking uh, goddamn, goddamn Queen Cobra so goddamn toxic. She got me thinking this nigga attractive. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. I must, I must have been staring at the goddamn eclipse too long. <laughs> they told you not to look, in a, that look at it, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man, I've been looking at the eclipse. I'm sorry. I apologize. My eyesight won't come back until a couple of days, so please. <laughs> they told you not to look into it. <laughs> I look too long, y'all. <laughs> Four steps ahead of it, my dudes. And if I wanted to make some butter sauce for it, it'd be real easy. Just get like a little bowl. And oh, yeah. Swap some butter in hold there. On, hold 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 on. Pets gifted 50 goddamn memberships, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. Pets gifted 50. Because she's, like she said, she is the ghost whisperer. She's the membership god. 50 gifted by Pets. What you gonna make you gonna make Jan views and Bridge very mad when they find out you just gave out gift 50 gifted. They couldn't even believe it. 50 gifted by pets. Eerie pepperoni stand up. 50 gifted by pets.
Thank you very much, Junk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pets. 50 gifted. God damn. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Pets, Pets 2.0, all y'all. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. Junk journals and more donated $2 through Super Chat. Thank you very much, Junk. Yo Mama. Pets gifted 50 memberships. Ninja 10. The Ghost Whisperer. The ghost whisper herself, Pets. I didn't even, I can't believe that Pets is talking about going to um, uh, ghost hunting. Shit, I'm into it now. I got to thank, I, to be honest with you, Erie Pepperoni, I got to thank you. I got to thank you because I never even thought about going ghost hunting. I never even thought people took it serious like that about Ghostbusters. But but now that you, now that you out there with that, I'm going to go get me some ghost equipment. Talk to me. <laughs> Iri Pepperoni, I need a conversation real quick. Please list off, or right, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, please list off the items. I'm talking for real. Please list off the items I need to get to find some ghosts. Because you know what? That's a good idea. If I go around vlogging to a bed, there's a lot of abandoned houses a couple of blocks away. If I go down there with my vlog camera, and I can capture some ghosts too. I might go look at the app. I'm gonna find the app. I saw the app that you got. I'm gonna get the app, and I'm gonna go get some ghost equipment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it on Amazon. Talk to me nicely, okay? We taking it serious now. Thank you, thank you, pets. It's pets' idea. The pets the one who said she was gonna go ghost hunting first, and then I was like, hold on, that's a good idea, pets. Let's go ghost hunting. Five dollars. Thank you. Pets donated five pounds like through Super Fishburne. Chat. <laughs> he looks like Lawrence Fishbourne from Higher Learner. <clears throat> okay, now you now you tripping now, Pets. <laughs> I gotta see that. Uh, now we both been looking at the eclipse. <laughs> There's no way he looks like. Uh, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me see. I know that ain't. I know I ain't tripping. Let me let me see if I'm tripping. Yeah, no, 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 no. We no 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 no. We both we both tripping. We both tripping. We both tripping. We both tripping. We both we we both hot. We both looked at the eclipse. Hold on, let me put it up here. We both was looking at the eclipse at the same time. We we they told us not to stare into it. Is she right or is she wrong? I'm going to ask the chat. I'm going to let the chat decide on this one. Maybe I'll be... Uh. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me get a side-by-side -side real quick. Let me get a side-by-side. -side. We might have been looking at the eclipse way too long. Talk to me, chat. Talk to me. Higher learning. Talk to me. Talk to me, chat. What we doing? We <laughs> that eclipse is fucking us up. <laughs> it's the glasses, yo mama. Oh, it's the glasses. Yeah. That eclipse fucked us up. <laughs> I, I I looked at Ice T again. I was like, damn, I must be tripping. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That eclipse. <laughs> I don't I don't. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I didn't see that either. Yeah, we hot. We, we, that damn eclipse fucked us up. I know I shouldn't have looked at that shit. G donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Welcome support group members. Hugh Mad Bro and Chicken Pickle also no madness life clapping hands medium light skin tone clapping hands medium light skin tone clapping hands medium light skin tone tears of joy. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, that eclipse fucked us up. <laughs> that eclipse fucked us up. 
maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing for like people like uh, um, King Cobra, because now people can't see that good. <laughs> he look a lot sexier. No, uh, welcome, no madness. No madness. Julia Kill has become a member. Oh, no madness. Welcome, no madness. Smiley face. Where no madness at? Say hi, no madness. I didn't even see her in here. No madness in here. <laughs> oh man. Say hi, no madness. Ah, welcome her. Welcome her. Oh, she got a membership. Yeah, look at that. She got a membership. Look at no madness. Welcome to the membership only. <laughs> Talking about I. I don't really watch your mama. Yeah, right. You be in here every night. <laughs> Welcome, no madness. I can't wait to hear her community tab. She gonna go off. <laughs> She's still mad that Armageddon didn't happen yesterday. Remember that? <laughs> she said the end of the world was yesterday. Remember that? She was like, she said she was gonna sacrifice three heifers, and the end of the world was coming. Remember that? It must be the end of the world today. <laughs> Because all of a sudden, now she's a member to this channel. <laughs> As the end of the world, nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, buy, oh, buy some candles for ghosties to blow out. Thank you for the 20. Thank you, Ninja. Oh, Ninja's giving to the Ghostbuster Fund. Okay. Okay, I'm dead ass serious. I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to do that shit. I, I know there's some uh, abandoned houses. I want to do this shit. Thank you, Eerie Pepperoni, for the idea. Thank you, Ninja, for the first dono to the goddamn uh, uh, Ghost Ghostbuster Club. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find, I gotta find somebody to go out with me. Ninja Cat donated twenty dollars through Super yeah. Chat. Buy some candles for ghosties to blow out. Got you. I got you. I got you. I gotta find somebody to go out with me. I gotta find some like person that just stand there with a stick and just, you know, I, I <clears throat> I'm taking this very serious, y'all. You gotta understand this is my spirituality <laughs> this is this is real to me right now come on don't make fun of it Bird, don't I'll grab do. it to you pretty straightforward you're gonna break the shell off the crap to get to the meat that's the only thing about it but it is a, a delicious treat this nigga is this nigga is just wankers love oh, i'm gonna see the black coat Did I miss all right it? Hold, I can you see it? <laughs> Who the fuck did this, man? I know you, Jessica Mesca, I'm even mad at you right now. You kicked me out your Discord. I don't, I don't, you know, I thought we was cool. I thought we was cool. I thought we was cool. She was like, oh, well, you know, you you have some beef with GP. I was like, fuck GP. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Talking about the nigga who buy views? Where GP at? Where you at? <laughs> Talk about the nigga that called fucking Belinda when she was on her way to the hospital to deliver her goddamn grandbaby. <laughs> Fuck him. <'em. laughs> gave me, yeah, yeah. She said, you got some beef with this guy named GP. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Look at this picture, though. <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> nigga Coves, man. Who did this to King Cobra? <laughs> Oh my God! And then I know Jessica Mesca liked this one. This is uh, King Cobra. This is Black King Cobra. Um, this is King Cobra, <laughs> looking like Miss Miami. This is <laughs> look at this shit. Why are y'all doing this? <laughs> that don't even look like King Cobra. That look like a real life person. <laughs> y'all need to stop this shit right now. <laughs> y'all need to. Stop. They said these are the black versions of King Cobra. <laughs> This look nothing like King Cobra, man. <laughs> I can't even see this. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody named that nigga Jermaine. <laughs> Jermaine Cobra. <laughs> that nigga said, that nigga can name that nigga Jermaine Cobra. I can't do y'all. <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> Letitia Cobra. <laughs> That's Jermaine and Letitia Cobra. <laughs> Letitia. <laughs> Who said that shit, man? <laughs> ah, Letitia Cobra. <laughs> that shit's funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. 
That's Terrence. <laughs> somebody, somebody put a do rag on that nigga. That's Terrence. <laughs> somebody put a do rag on King Cobra. Can somebody make a picture with King Cobra with a do rag? <laughs> Please. That's Terrence. <laughs> Oh, man, that shit funny. Y'all niggas is too funny in this community. I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie, man. Mm. I can't lie. <laughs> that shit fucking hilarious. That shit hilarious, man. <laughs> Do-rag. Do-rag Cobra. <laughs> Do-rag Cobra. Oh, man, that shit funny, man. Y'all got a black version of King Cobra. That shit's wild. Y'all know y'all doing too much, right? <laughs> uh, the funny part is... <laughs> The funny part is uh, Jessica Mesco feel uncomfortable with it. And I'm like, Jessica Mesco, you black. <laughs> I think Jessica Mesco forgets sometimes she's black. Ma'am, you black. Your daddy black. You black. <laughs> I don't even, I don't see Jessica Mesco other than being black. Only time I see her when she don't feel like she's black, she's like, should I do this or not? I don't know if this is, you know, if this is going to rub people. That... Ma'am, you black, okay? <laughs> if you're going to be offend, if you think it's offensive to black people, you offending yourself. <laughs> you, you can't offend yourself. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jesus, Jessica, you're black. When I when I when I hear Jessica Mesca talking, when she's saying something, or when I see her, I see a black girl. I swear to God, I don't see what I don't know what she thinks she see. I see a black girl. You know, your daddy black. Your daddy is black. You're black. <laughs> God, <laughs> don't feel uncomfortable. Be like, yeah, I, they, look at these niggas. <laughs> this is nigger cove. <laughs> Oh man, I swear to God, I see her as a black girl. I don't, I don't know. Mm. Shit, your daddy black. I, I, my friend, my friends, my friend, my friend, my home girl. Her daddy black. She black. <laughs> Everybody look at her as a black girl. Nobody be like, you know. And she go with, you know. Her mom might be white or something like that, but she black. <laughs> you got any black in you? You black. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That's why. Um. Uh, I forgot. Uh, uh, a couple other athletes. Oh, yeah, the girl. Uh, they try to get at the uh, uh, that famous girl that uh, plays Spider Man. The Spider Man movies. Her, the Spider Man movies. Um, I forget her name, but she was supposed to be in a Leah movie, and then all the black women were going at her like, "How are you gonna put a white girl in a Leah movie?" And then she had to take a picture next to her daddy, and her dad is all ass black, and she was like, "I'm black, dumbass." Yeah. <laughs> Like, bitch, she was like, I'm black. What the fuck y'all talking about? Yeah, that's the same thing. Like, your daddy black, you black. <laughs> Period. You know what I mean? Sheesh. Here's Man, you one. Ain't, ain't, I ain't never lying. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But then... <laughs> that's crazy. <clears throat> There's another one. <laughs> but to me that's a woman yeah yeah that is a woman <laughs> that's Letitia Cobes Letitia Cobes Letitia Cobes look Why like she work at the DMV <laughs> Letitia Cobes look like she work at the DMV <laughs> yeah um number 84726 number 84726 yes um what are you here for mm hmm <laughs> Registration, you're here to get your registration fixed. Okay. Um, do you have your um license and your um yeah, your registration card? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, she look like the don't Letitia Combs look like don't she look like she work at the DMV? <laughs> she, she, she got like 90 chains, she like got like 90 key chains, <laughs> or she got a chain of keys. <laughs> Hold on, you need to go to the bathroom. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just let me I gotta open up the door. Hold on, let me. She going through like 90 keys. Oh, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Go in there. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It locks in the back. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Letitia Coves. She, she got a real life job, y'all. <laughs> she got a real life job. Uh, I swear to God, I seen this one behind a DMV counter. I, I swear to God, I seen her behind a DMV counter somewhere. <laughs> uh, you're here to renew? Thank you. Why did I even go here? What I'm saying is, yeah. in this lighting, he looks she like Black Josh. In oh, this man. lighting, he looks like both Black Joshes mixed together. If you mix them, he looks like that right now in this yeah. dark room. 
know what I'm saying? They're starting to get like a nice reddish tint to them, like I've been saying in the last couple of videos. It's not going to overcook it, but it is going to soak those crab legs, snow crab legs, and the buttery white wine. Look how this nigga makes this shit. Hold on, this rock star Stop it. Hopefully. Look how this nigga makes Look at this nigga. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Who the fuck did this one? <laughs> this way. Oh, hold on. I got to get a close up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Why that nigga got a rotisserie? That nigga got fried chicken. Whoever did this one going to hell. <laughs> Whoever did this one? <laughs> Colonel Cobes. <laughs> Colonel Cobes. Who the fuck did this? <laughs> I need that nigga name. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga's a felon. <laughs> why that nigga? Why, why that nigga holding a fried chicken in his hand? <laughs> oh my god! Who did this shit? This shit is. <laughs> I got it. I should have made this a thumbnail. This nigga lady. Oh, I've seen this nigga before. I swear I've seen this man before. This is Biker Coves. Biker Black Coves. He got a Harley. I can see, this. I can see this nigga on a hog. You can see. This nigga, you can tell this nigga be driving like this. He got here with the music blasting, right? <laughs> oh man. Doom. Doom 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 doom. Doom 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 doom. <laughs> he playing old school music. Bump dump dump doom 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 doom. Doom. Yeah. That's that old nigga when you he in that hog and he pull up next to you bumping that music, that old ass music. Doom, 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 doom. Ooh. <laughs> like nigga, you could turn that shit down and put on no earphones. <laughs> That's that dude on the hog, man. That's that dude on the hog. Got the fry. This somebody put chicken in that nigga hand though. <laughs> who the fuck put the chicken in the nigga hand though? <laughs> who the nigga who who put chicken in this man hand? <laughs> this nigga listen type of nigga to listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire all day long. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> ain't he one, Ain't he a member of Earth, Wind, and Fire? <laughs> ain't he a member? <laughs> oh man. Oh man, Family Matters. <laughs> he do look like the dad from Family Matters. <laughs> he do. He do. Oh man, hold on. Y'all niggas is too quick. Y'all niggas is too quick. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let me see. Y'all niggas is too quick. I gotta pull that nigga up. I gotta pull the nigga up though. I gotta pull. I gotta pull him up. I gotta pull him up. <laughs> he do look like him. He do look like him though. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Carl, look at this. <laughs> Somebody going to hell. <laughs> Some one of y'all going to hell, man. <laughs> y'all telling me the old version of King Cobra, Black, is looking like the nigga from Family Matters? <laughs> R.I.P. my man, though. But damn, <laughs> he do look like this is good. This is out of control. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's, cr That's crazy. Whoever did this is wild. Y'all going to hell for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> oh, holy. But I digress. Holy. <laughs> I swear to God, because I don't know too much about King Cobra, but I thought he was half black. I did. I did for a long time. I thought he was half black. 
and then somebody told me like, nah, he's half white, and then they, I mean, he's all white, and then they send me a clip of him about like four, four or five years ago. That man looked like a white boy. Like he looks like straight up. Like the only reason why I thought he was ha the the him that I'm seeing now, he looks like he light skinned like really light skinned. He looked like a he looked like like I said, he like a light light skinned dude. But then I saw his old uh, videos of him, and he's just a total white boy. And I was like, oh my bad, I got it wrong. That's why I thought he was half black. He just dirty. <laughs> He just don't take showers, huh? It's that soap. It's that combat soap. Oh, man. This seems a bit excessive, but... No! Oh, this, my God. Drink. This is crazy, bro. This nigga eats disgusting, bro. He just pours the beer in there like, bro. It's bro excessive, but... Look at this, bro. How do you eat like this? Crab legs with this? Look no. at this. No. Oh, my God. Drain show. it. Look at that, bro. Take it out. Look at the suds. Look Why at that. I want to know what he's waiting for. What is he waiting for? He ice spice, bro. <laughs> Somebody said he ice spice, brother. <laughs> oh, God. He could be ice spice, brother. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what is he waiting to happen to know that they're done? Is what I don't get. Look at this. This is disgusting, my dude. They're done. This is disgusting. I can't believe he did that. I can't believe That's he did all that. That's all we're going to eat for that. Spice brother, though, is wild. No let that boil in the beer and the buttery goodness. Buttery goodness, bro. That oh, looks nasty. shit. Can I be honest? I'm keeping it a buck fifty. I don't think Josh can open crab legs. I do not think this man can crack crab legs open at all. Did Jessica Mesca just say, say, I don't think he can open crab legs? Have you seen this man? Do you think that this man, do you think that this man opens the crab legs? This nigga looks like he eats the shell. <laughs> he don't even, <laughs> what do you mean I got to open it? <laughs> You see this man's teeth? <laughs> you open it. <laughs> what do I got to open? <laughs> he eat the whole shell. <laughs> he don't. It's, you, you, talk, you see who you talking about? <laughs> this is a shell? <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> open. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. She even think that this nigga opened up the shell. That's wild. That nigga eat that shit straight up. That's just smelling all kinds and looking all kinds of smacks there. That looks disgusting, bro. That looks nasty. Crab legs. Snow crab legs. That looks nasty. Snow crab. Look at the smells. <laughs> That looks disgusting. Nah, bro. he finna eat the whole shit. Yeah, somebody said he about to eat the whole thing. Them teeth no, he is wild. better not. Oh my god, he might. Them teeth. Listen, is I wild. gotta tell you guys a secret about my friend. You want to hear a secret? What? Let me put her up on screen. Where is she? Wrench. Where's her? She. No, Kate was back in her most recent stream. Cobra definitely frog. Definitely frog. Bulls are pissed. Oh, wait a minute. King Cobra told a joke that this dude, this dude is a comedian. I forgot. I, th I forgot King Cobra's a, a comedian. He told a joke today. Let me go. Let me go grab this. He did some, he did a comedy act today. It was fucking, it was so dumb. And he's so slow with it. <laughs> His punchlines are just wild. Here it is. Good evening, YouTube. So I have a couple of Josh jokes. Josh jokes. What's a Model T horn's favorite kind of lettuce? Arugula. What's Wintertime's favorite kind of seafood? Snow crab. <laughs> Good evening, YouTube. So I have a couple of Josh jokes. Yeah. What's a Model T horn's 
Favorite kind of lettuce? Arugula. What's wintertime's favorite kind of seafood? Snow crab. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh, let me die some jokes. <laughs> Not snow crab though. <laughs> Who is your audience, bro? <laughs> you know, I really hit that one out of the park <laughs> with his pirate hat. <laughs> hold on, dog. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wanted to do something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I wanted to do something, dog. I really wanted to do this, and I I forgot to do this. I was gonna do this. Mm. Hold on, let me, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I know where I've seen this nigga before. I know where I've seen King Cobra before, dog. I swear to God, I've seen this nigga before. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me bring him up here. Let me bring, let me bring. I know I've seen this nigga before, dog. Um, with that fucking hat that he got on. Uh, hold on. Uh, what did I do? That hat, dude. I'm telling you, I know I've seen this nigga before. Watch this. <laughs> Hold on. Tell me, tell me that we, you, tell me you not, tell me you've missed King Cobra at Disneyland, dog. Tell me you've never seen this nigga. Tell me you, <laughs> has anybody ever got on a Pirates of the Caribbean ride and missed King Cobra? <laughs> Doesn't that nigga look like he belonged with that fucking roller coaster? <laughs> Don't that nigga look like he belong on that fucking roller coaster? <laughs> oh, that nigga. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm right over here. <laughs> with the, the, with the, hey, guys. No, fuck my God. No. <laughs> we, got, we got to put King Cobra on that ride, dog. <laughs> I knew I seen that nigga somewhere. Oh, man, I seen that nigga on Pirates of the Caribbean, I swear. <laughs> har, har. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I was like, damn, I recognize that nigga from somewhere. I know I've been, I seen that nigga. Now I watch Pirates of the Caribbean, and that nigga was on that ride. <laughs> right when you drive through, you see that fool <laughs> with a martini going, hey. <laughs> Uh, hey, put her, uh, put her in the fucking, put her down. <laughs> Wonk the plank, wonk the plank. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, I like to thank everybody for being here today. Um, I really appreciate everybody. Had a great stream. Uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to go off on a few people, but hey, man, it is what it is, man. Drama. Drama. <laughs> but it's your boy, your mama, back at it again. I thank everybody for joining the stream. I really appreciate everybody for being here. Uh, for all the people that are catching on the replay, really appreciate you. I really appreciate all the um, memberships, donations, uh, pets, uh, uh, Ninja Cat, everybody that donated to the stream. I really appreciate it. Um, everyone to be here, all the streamers here, everybody that enjoys the content. I'll see you guys next stream. It's your boy, your mama. Peace. Uncle, click that link. Quite that link. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm, nope. I don't fucking drink, so eat my ass. Now you know. A, a woman of 57 banging a 44 year old man silly. That's not a cougar. If I was a cougar, I would yes, be chasing is. guys that are the guys you chase after that I'm not interested in. I don't in. chase. They run to me. Ask Vicky. Do they?
want to take you over to the deli, you know, and feed you some cold cuts. Mm. Well, wait a minute. We can definitely make that happen. I love, I love me. Uh, he's not a bad man at all. He's not a bad man. He's a good man. He's a good person. He's a gentleman. And he's a scholar. So he really is. Because I always wanted a mafia boyfriend. Because you're as loud as your hair. <laughs> oh, you love it. I want to please you, sir. I see Katie wants my attention. I don't care to spend my time and energy online fighting with fucking drag queens. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. Get that fat bitch out of there. Ew. You stupid Ben, what's wrong with you? It's me. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction or some other motherfucker, some raggy out in New York, the satisfaction of getting my fucking Twitch terminated. I don't want you to report my rub. Or maybe you'll call the police on me. I wish you, I, motherfucker, I wish a bitch would call the police on me. You, you know what? I am going to call the police. I'm in complete shock. So Eric was leaving. You know, he does his thing. I go in my room, whatever. I don't micromanage him or anything like that. I'm at the point where, you know, I trust him and stuff. And he's putting his scarf on. He goes, okay, well, I'll see you next time. I said, I said, Eric. He said, mm hmm. I said, that's my scarf. That's mine. No.